going on governors chisco here and today ooh, ooh, kicking things off with a new member hey let's go leo thank you for the one gifted cheers welcome old e 40 e to the smash squad let's freaking go today kingsland baby kingsland this is a big roster too 1307 Ark of Osiris League Ultra Champions. 1v. I made that up. Ultra Champions. It's fine. New term. I mean, they like win it all. So, like, yeah. Let's give them the Ultra Champions title, okay? 1664. 1647. 1079. And a bunch of other kingdoms as well. No offense intended to all the kingdoms that are in here. It's a crazy roster, Okay. And this King's Land opens very soon. Let's jump in game. King's Land, baby. Woo! Something about this map right over here, it just builds anticipation, chat. You know what I mean? Who said Mondays are bad? I know, right? Monday. Th Dude. Gosh, bless. But there's a lot of content this morning, man. There's so much content this morning. It's actually insane. But first, let's get a timer on the screen, okay? Let's get a timer on the screen. I think it's like here. 
Did I get that right? Almost. We'll just, we'll just drop that time a little bit. Leo, thank you for the 1v super chat. Let's go. I'm doing great. Good morning. 1307 is ready, chat says. No doubt. No doubt. Let's just bookmark a few things real quick. All right. We got the 1v entrance. Now, look, chat. This is a, this is a top left versus bottom and right situation which means we know there's going to be some really hot areas to watch right over here this wall jump this is a, this is a big wall jump 1307 is no stranger to the danger associated with this wall jump see what i did there this wall jump needs to be done correctly and really the action is on 1307 to get that correct. Um, 1v's got the easy stroll out their pass to deny. Meanwhile, on the opposite side of the map, you've got Unique with the hard wall jump over here. What kingdom is this? 1647's got the wall jump. Okay. 1647 has a wall jump, as does... Who's... who? Uh-oh. This is interesting. VL is not 1307, is it? LV? Wait, I saw VL. VL's over here. LV's over here. Holy cow, that was confusing for a second. 1188 is matched up against 1647. That's going to be interesting. Um, So, we'll see who wins this corner wall jump. But this could also be a hot spot right over here. So those two corners are where we're going to be watching this morning. And that's just the initial fray. Uh, I do like that 1v is positioned as one of the flanks. I like that 1647 is positioned as one of the flanks. I think the thing that we probably can learn from the 1365 KVK is that going up the middle for the main alliance, the banner kingdom of your warband is probably a bad idea. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. So um, on the flanks over here, we've got 1188 and 1307. Um, I think it is interesting that 1664 is not on the outside. I would have thought of like 1664 as being kind of like the kingdom you'd put over here to match up in the corner. So that's going to be interesting to see. I don't actually know the full strength of these kingdoms, but let's solve that problem by pulling up ye old map chat. Let's pull up ye old map. Um, I have a 1365 map handy. Pretty sure I've got another one. Here it is. Boop. All right, and... um. Let's bigalize this thing. 1188's at 24.3 billion power. Whereas 1664 is at 26.3 billion power on Rockboard. Um, kills are actually very similar to 1664. I still kind of feel like it might have been safer to put 1664. But the thing is that, look, the folks running this KVK would have a better idea. I mean, maybe 1664, this is not a good time for them for the King's Land opening, so maybe they don't want to be on the like the very outside. Shelby says, 1307, no doubt will win. Congrats to them. Dang, the congrats before the King's Land even opens. Sheesh. 114451, that shouldn't be legal. Shouldn't be legal, huh? Let's go see this shouldn't be legal action. So chat on your screen, there are five forts. Um, I mean, I just don't know what to tell you about forts, man. I don't know what to tell you about forts that I haven't already said. No criticism to the players. For leveraging the meta. The meta is Fort Vomit. But, you know. 
we're still talking about vomit. So nobody likes that. I, I hate to be rude, but again, not a criticism of the players playing the meta. It's just my thoughts around, should this be meta? Should this be allowed? It's correct for players to do it, but should it be a thing players can do? I think 1079 in the middle could be really good. 1v will be the blockade. 1188 will fall apart first. 1664 should be blocking 1v, chat says. Yeah, so I, I think ideally you would have your strongest kingdoms match up against each other, right? If you want to stalemate the KVK and make it a war of attrition, you'd probably put 1307 against... 1647 and the the weirdness of 1664 and 1v though chat have you heard about this weirdness though do you know what this is thank you again leo for the super do you know what the weirdness is here because Yeah, the kingdoms are merging. 1664 is joining 1v, chat. So, like, that's weird. MV Roner says, don't expose me for my weirdness. So these kingdoms are fighting against each other, but after KVK, they're merging. Chat says, what? Could be a betrayal? Nah, I don't think this is going to be a betrayal. I mean. But wouldn't a King's Land betrayal be like ultra juicy? But that's not, that's probably not going to happen. But you know, we'll have to watch and see. But it's probably not going to happen. I, I don't, I don't think 1664 is the kind of kingdom that's going to betray. To be honest. They already fought each other just fine during the past six, chat says. Yeah. This is not this is not a KVK3, bro. True. This this ain't no KVK3, chat. For me, that's the reason for placing 1664 topside. Yeah, I mean the only the only thing I would say, again, that I would do different is like I would I would put a kingdom like 1664 where 1188 is, personally. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm right. And I honestly haven't watched this KVK, so I don't know what I'm talking about. It could be that 1188 is ultra fresh. And so if that's true, maybe putting them on the corner is the play. I just know that whoever dominates that corner field and gets the hop over the mountain gets a slight edge. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the new museum buffs. Oh boy, let me tell you, chat. Let me tell you, chat. I really wanted to make a video, but instead, I mean, hey, we got this pass opening in five minutes. I just didn't have time. Am I going for Zenith? Do we think that for infantry specifically, 15% defense is better than 15% health? Like, like, actually asking, what do we think here? Uh, I feel like health is better? Shelby, thank you for the super. Let's see a clean fight. No betrayals, please. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about betrayals, personally. Uh, we're going to watch the 1v pass, by the way, because I would anticipate if any kingdom is going to execute with precision, it'll certainly be 1v. I'm sure many others will as well, but if I were a betting governor, I would bet on 1v executing really cleanly here. Let's make a poll, chat. Start a poll. What's better? 10% health for infantry. Let's let's clarify. Better for infantry. 10% health or 15% defense?
They add, need to add a Zenith. Oh, not a Zenith skin. A infantry skin to the KVK shop. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, Chad, in case you're wondering, like, bro, where are all the marches for 1v? They're all here. The reason that that's the case is they're trying to buff the marches hitting the pass, okay? Let's talk about only 240 people getting rewarded for Autark. Is it lowered to 240? Or is it only 240 in the main kingdom, which means you have to take some number of those rewards from the 300 and give them to allies? I'm not sure which it is. Infantry simps finally get a Zenith skin and still salty. Yo. Okay, but maybe I can go for this Zenith skin on my restart. That'd be freaking dope. I have three infantry marches. Yo, that would actually be... Can I do that on my restart shot? I don't think I have the power. I, I don't think I can push enough power. Hey, Shelby, welcome to the Epic Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Shelby. Joining the Epic Guard. I'd have to do the math on my speed ups. Woo, Ender. Back at it again with the 10 gifted. Let's go. Congratulations to the folks receiving the gifted memberships. Quizja, Brian, Mr. Somebody, Benjamin, Cool Pasta, Gabriel, Legend, Wertro, and Hassan, ABCD. Congratulated, uh, congratulated, congratulations on your gifted memberships. Man, my brain just combined those words. Did you hear Lion King is coming back? No, hadn't heard. Is that true? Ibrahim, hello, good morning. Um, chat, man. If we have more time, which we don't, but if we did, I'd buy Master's Tools and rip this open. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what I get in Master's Tools. You got no improvements. Good luck. Oh, Raven. GG. That's kind of rough. It's been a minute since I've gotten some improvements, but I have a lot of weak spots in my armaments. Like, I have a lot of armaments that are only double statted instead of triple statted. So, so I have a lot of opportunities here. Like, like actually a shocking amount of opportunities, given how much I've spent. So... What do you think of the new museum buffs? I mean, obviously, freaking sick, man. Um, I think it's gonna make the commanders that were already good better, but I don't think it's gonna make any commanders you weren't gonna use usable. Does that make sense, chat? I think it's gonna make commanders you were going to use anyways better. I don't think it's gonna make unusable commanders suddenly useful. Do we know what the upgrade cost is yet? From what I saw in the screenshots, and I'll have a video go live later today, so y'all are going to definitely want to tune in to check that out. Man, they're, they're... I know they wanted to use a Richard here in order to make for a really tanky guy, but like they just have to be really careful to not debuff the pass hitters, which they might unintentionally do. Richard, I get that he's tanky. I get that he heals. It's just he reduces the damage of targets that he hits. So we'll see how that goes. Um, You can see, obviously, though, the pass capture is going extremely well. Chat, tell a friend. Kingsland is opening. Let them know to tune into the stream. Uh oh, big bang upstairs. Having kids is great. 
I always I always worry when I hear like a big boom. What was that thing? Question mark. Mit Mit. Thank you for the super chat. Would Mina be better on the field now with XY for the museum buff to make him a stat stick? No, I don't think so. I think it's just going to make good commanders better. I don't think it's going to make commanders you wouldn't have used meta. So I don't think Minamoto will suddenly be meta. I think if you were using Mina, I mean, it's really awesome he got a buff. Like, really, really, really awesome. How much do we need to power up? And by the way, Mina? I mean, he, he would be like... You know, on my list, not really of my top six cavalry, but he's like number seven. I mean, he's like number seven probably on my list of cavalry. Maybe number eight, but but he's he's good. He's good. I know that sounds worse than I intended. There's a lot of good cavalry. Rocky, thank you for the super chat. How much to power up to win the city theme? Honestly, I would say like... For most kingdoms, you'd expect like 40 million to be the number. 40 mil power. All right. One V's through the pass. 1307. Almost down. They're through the pass. All right, this is big chat. This is the moment. This is the moment. There's this is the flag. This is it. That super naughty flag? That's fun to say. Uh, that's the one we gotta watch. Uh-oh. 1647. Through the pass. There we go. Okay, chat. This is hype. Flag down. Ooh, that's nice and aggressive. That's nice and aggressive. Okay. Okay, baby. This is the other spot we gotta watch. All right. Look at look at all these nodes. Everybody's like, target the node. Let's freaking go. Oh, ooh, random port. That's a good. That's a good port. Okay. Just kidding. They're out of there. I guess that's not where they wanted to be. I know they were from a different kingdom, but that's still a really good spot. Let the random porting chaos begin. Um, here's the thing is because 1307 did not win the pass cap, they need to get in this flag. It's gonna be hard to do. You can't build a flag if you're not in it. So they're, they're gonna have to take field. Like 1307 has to try to take field. Feels like we just watched this big Imperium KVK map. Um, it is really cool to get like back-to-back -back big KVKs. This is like a nice treat we don't normally get. Do you think Nefisto's a real person? Um, despite the fact that it's hard to believe they're a real person, I do believe they are a real person. I, I, what would a fake person be? Khalid Omar. Welcome to the Honor Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Khalid. Welcome to Smash Squad. Let's go. For those that don't know, when you become a member of the channel, your name will show up in green in chat. Often in my live streams, the rate of chat is just too fast to respond to every message. And so I'll prioritize those messages in green. Also, you get a badge next to your name showing how long you've been a member. And before I go through the rest of the member perks, I, I have to compliment 1307 on this strategy. I like this. They didn't wait to overwhelm 1v. They just charged in. Now, why do I think that's good? Because 1307's on the clock, bro. They, they have to get in these flags to start building them. And more importantly, they're a full flag away from the flag they need to get to, which is, I mean, look, it's all the way down here, chat. You can see the outline of the flag, even though the flag hasn't loaded yet. So 
th they they have problems and they can only solve those problems by shoving this field and they need to do it right now so i i like that charge man i feel like that's totally fine i will say that i think the 1307 advantage will be numbers the 1v advantage will be strength uh, but i feel like that's not a very controversial thing to say Frederick FR says, why is nobody talking about Chandra with Nevsky? Uh, so the reason Chandra Nevsky is not a topic of conversation is because there's better commanders than Chandra. And it's not even really debated. It's accepted, I believe, that XY with William and Nevsky with Joan is a meta. I, I think it's pretty universally understood. We saw it used extensively in the 1307 KVK. So if you were like, well... You know, is it really the best? I mean, look, if 1960 thought you should be using Chandra, they'd be using Chandra. Um, all of them would have been using Chandra. So I think the XY William is really where it's at and the Nevsky Joan is where it's at. Now, Nevsky Chandra is fine. I'm not doubting that Nevsky Chandra is a fine combo, but Nevsky with anyone's kind of a fine combo. You know what I mean? So... You know, I would rank Chandra as like, I think I mentioned this earlier, but you've got, we'll do it in order, um, Navsky, Joan, William, XY, and then maybe Chandra, then maybe Bert, right? Then Saladin. Or Minamoto. Both of them get museum buffs now. Minamoto gets slightly better. Saladin gets multiple buffs. Uh, hey, no Saladin. Hey, Saladin's looking pretty thick. Saladin's always been good. And uh, what's what's this buff? Hold on. I have a picture. Saladin's museum buff will be cavalry attack and march speed. Bro, hey, that's good. Base level, 10% attack and 10% march speed. Next level of that's probably like 20% total attack and 20% march speed or something. I mean, I don't know. You think he's better than Chandra? No, I think Chandra debuffs are better. I, I, I would take a Chandra to the field before Saladin pretty much any day. I would, I would prefer the Chandra. Because, because chat, look, it's all about these debuffs. I think people still don't understand how good debuffs are. Uh, I, Which is a little surprising to me. Because I don't think I can talk about it more than I already do. Um, But I think, I think there's a sort of funny reality about content. Which is that... A lot of people just like watch my video to hear what they wanted to hear. So like I got all these comments about, you know, Heraclius in the open field. That's like, you know, uh, but he shields and he does AOE. I'm like, yeah, but he's just not as good. Like he just isn't. Uh oh. What the heck? Bro, PC, get the hell out of here. Dismiss. Don't you dare. Dude, I hate when Windows tries to outsmart me. I did not ask you to do that. What in the hell are you doing? Tommy and Mehmed buffs are really good. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Liam, no crafting today. We got this KVK to watch, baby. Windows updating. Bro. Cortana, don't you F with me. I thought I already turned you off. Taradius, thank you for the super chat. The dot and debuff game in video games is key. Yeah, that's right. Dana Walker, welcome to the Elite Guard, by the way. Let's get those hype emojis for Dana. Welcome to the Elite Guard, I appreciate you. Diego Cabral, thank you for the 23 months, I appreciate you. Let's go, ooh. Merchants here. Poggers. 
there are too many people watching. I can't move my marches. Yeah, that always sucks. Um, but importantly, 1307 got into this flag, so they're going to be able to get this wall hop potentially. Honestly, if I thought getting a better computer would improve the PC version experience, I would do it in a heartbeat. I don't think that would be an improvement. I mean, my PC is pretty good. I, I don't think it's a PC thing. And I, it's server-based, Rise of Lag Chat says. I mean, I have, I, I'll, I'll say my RAM is low. Like, I, I definitely could get more RAM for this PC. Like, this, that, that are, there's actually no debating. Like, actually, I could do that. Fubian, hey, welcome to the Epic Guard. Let's get those hype emojis. Member upgrade in the house. Let's go. Um, I have a 2080 Ti, which is certainly dated, but like, hold on. Let me see here. If I do this real quick. Um, not even 50% of my GPU is utilized currently. I'm at 30% of my CPU utilization and 50% of my memory utilization, right? Like, I don't think improvements are relevant for me, are they? can tell you exactly what I have. You need to dedicate more to rock. How do I, how do I dedicate more to rock? We lift the glass. We say, here's to you, rise of kingdoms, more dedications. Joking aside, actually, how would I do that? Glaucoma, thank you for the super chat, dude. Torjor, thank you for the seven months. With the new map map buffs, it's finally time to bench Leo for Guan. Uh, I don't think I would use map map over Leo. 1v got overrun here. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of my expectation that they would. I mean, 1307 is just a big effing kingdom, man. It has nothing to do with that, Nick says. Everything is based on the servers you're connecting to. So if anything, it's connection-based, not computer-based for a game like this. Yeah, I mean, I have my utilization up just for giggles. Um, and it doesn't seem to be an issue. I have a Ryzen 9 3950X. 32 gigs of RAM. 2080 Ti. These flags are about to touch, which is pretty exciting, chat. We can get a look at the other side, yeah. Because flags should be burning on the other side, actually. But the good news for 1307 is that they did execute their wall hop. And over here, who's winning? Uh, yeah, 1647 is owning the field here, which I predicted. I, I predicted this would happen, chat. I predicted 1188 would be outgunned by 1647. Yeah, I feel like... You know, I don't know who built their forts first. I don't know who built their forts first. But if you knew that... Um, 1647 would be up here. I feel like you need to put 1307 to match them. If you want to kind of have a balance and, and stability to your king's land. But that might not be what they're going for. Tommy, thank you for the 10 months. Yeah, we're going to talk about some of those Gen 2 buffs in a minute. Electricity, welcome to the Elite Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for electricity. Let's go. New member of the channel. Big day. Yeah, Golden Meta, it's a big day. 
So chat, what do you think? Is my PC good enough? Can I actually get gains? Are there actually gains to be had by changing around my PC? I don't think so. So here's what happens, chat. This is very interesting. We have the 13 over, uh, 1307 overpower against 1v, which means 1307 should gain land against them. And we have the 1647 overpower of the 1188 group. So both sides have a team that should gain land. So this should be pretty, I mean, you know, look, there's different strategies to run in a KVK. One is to say, we're going to try to slow things down and make it a battle of attrition. I don't think that's what's happening here. Not, not exactly. Because you've got sides where one team, I think, is stronger than another. And you can really see that now with the 1307 team rolling pretty far on to 1v territory. Right? No one is talking about that 65% on Footmos. That's a lot of percent, isn't it? I don't think they showed the most in the official vids, so I don't know how much I can comment on that. I have seen the 65% rumor. And if it were to be true, it's a lot of stats, but does it really make up for the very low damage factor on Thutmose? I mean, that damage factor on Thutmose is low, chat. It's low. Ooh. Cool, you dropped me a link for GPU dedication on Discord. That's cool. I mean, look, I can get a stronger, you know, uh, really anything for my PC. This graphics card, fine, get a better graphics card. Chat says they're surprised that 1079 didn't gun for 1307. I mean, the only kingdom that I think could have contested 1307 was 1647. That's my guess. Um, but maybe if the 1079 field had gone to help over here, maybe they could have done something. Here's the thing, chat. So if you're 1v... As long as these flags build, you're okay. That's the thing. It's like, as long as 1v gets their flag line down, they're going to be fine. Here's 1079 to support, by the way. Okay. So where's 1079 going? Oh, yeah. So 1079 is trying to, to cut the attack from the pass, which is pretty smart. So yeah, 1079 is on their way. So this gets interesting. If you're going to PC upgrade, will you upgrade with an overall new PC? Honestly, I think the answer is unfortunately yes. Like the whole point of a PC is upgradability, but I think I need a new motherboard to fit all the peripherals that I want. So that's awkward. Look at this side swipe from 1079. Love to see it, man. I mean, I don't really need a faster PC for editing. Like, I edit fast enough. JLaze says, let me know I work at a computer company. Uh, reach out to me in DMs. Let's, let's talk there. Sixty four cutting off sixteen forty seven. We're watching this ambush for now, but I'm sure there's some exciting stuff going on in the northern part of the map. You could run a two PC streaming setup, lots uh do. Yeah, I mean I think it would definitely be a more sophisticated setup if I advanced to a two PC setup. It also is a lot more points of failure, but 
Um, I just don't know that Rise of Kingdoms really demands a two PC setup. It's just not. I don't think it's demanding enough. You could shoot and edit in 4K. Yeah, you know what I really need to do? Is I need a setup that I can take with me somewhere. Like, I probably need to get a new laptop. And that laptop is probably going to be really expensive in order to actually potentially stream from it as well. It's Rise of Kingdoms, not, yeah, Call of Duty or Fortnite. Chat says 1307 is going to win. It's going to be interesting to see who wins this KVK. Who needs 4K, though? To actually view it, you need 4K monitors. Okay, here's a question, chat. I'm going to run a poll. It's a business expense. It would be a business expense, but it is still an expense. Um, let's start a poll. Are you watching right now from a uh, this stream? Are you watching this stream right now from a TV? How many of you are actually watching this live stream on a TV? right now the funny thing is like it's kind of hard to respond if you're watching from a tv you gotta like interact with the freaking tv it's annoying no shot 15 percent of people are watching from a tv really Projector. See, here's the thing. 4K is really good for the people that are watching from a TV. Makes a big difference. Tosh Point is watching from the showers. Poggers. Technically, you can watch from 4K 60 on an iPhone. I mean, I could, I could upgrade a bunch of things and stream 4K. I did hear the rumor that 1664 is going to merge with 1V. It's kind of exciting. Leo, thank you for the super chat. 2489 shredding. Oh, dang. And Ender with another 10 gifted. Sheesh. Back at it again with the 10 gifted. Hello Q, Wonder, Tosh Point, ZKX, Frankie Joe, Toon Squad, Eric, G, Colonel James, Ibrahim. Welcome to Smash Squad. Let's go. Let's get those hype emojis in the chat for Ender with the 10 gifted. Let's go. That's 24 new members this stream. Big poggers. Hernandez. Thank you for the super chat. Sup, Chiskul. Navisto would love some more lessons. Oh, God. I mean, you know, look. He invited me to that drama. He straight up asked me to comment by virtue of his invitation to the drama fest. I'd have left it alone. Chad, I'd have left it alone. I'd have let his KVK just, it just would have happened, you know? And it would have been a thing and I wouldn't have talked about it. But I got invited and I got, I got personally invited, man. So I, I mean, I took the invitation. 
It's like I said in the video, I try to, you know, subscribe to the wisdom of greater YouTubers. According to Penguinzo, you know, you're supposed to leave all that drama behind. But since I got invited, I mean, how could I not? Who would win in a troop fight in Rise of Kingdoms, me or Nephisto? Do you mean like my seven marches versus his seven marches? I mean, the thing is, he's not in Season of Conquest, so. Until he gets to SOC and gets some SOC commanders, like he doesn't, he wouldn't stand a chance in that context. Some people just love the drama. True. I bought the battle pass and after I migrated, it just disappeared. I'm new, I don't know what happened. That doesn't make sense. And also, which battle pass are you referring to? Call of Dragons comes out in a couple weeks. Um, I personally can't report a farm hacker in any way different than you could. So if you think if you think somebody's in you you know, is in your words a farm hacker. You gotta report it. But the, there's nothing special I can do. Sabash, cheers. Enjoying the stream. Thank you, Chiskul. He means Lucerne Scrolls. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that Lucerne Scrolls would reset if you migrate. So I would report that if I were you. Try to get some support. Um, Looks like this was a pretty good wall huh? uh, jump for 1647. And it does look like LV did fine, kind of cutting off here in 1188. Dice, thank you for the one month. Who will win this KVK? Well, uh, let's find out, chat. Let's find out. What do you think? Start a poll. Uh, which team is winning? This KVK. 1307 and allies. 1V and allies. You can see the map in the bottom right of the stream. And if you're watching from an iPad or well, really any mobile device, you can pinch zoom on the map to zoom it in and see who's allied and who's enemies. All right, chat, it's getting a little chilly. I'm gonna grab my hoodie real quick. It's just off camera, BRB. Okay. Outport, thank you for the super chats. Watching you while I work out. Love you, brother. You're a big inspiration. Cheers. Appreciate the super. Hope you have a good workout. Oh. Do you mean to be swarming? What is this? Oh, it's a flag. All right, cool. Yeah, flag's cool. Swarm it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I thought it was a city. I was like, are you sure you want to swarm that? Flag's a good swarm. Going for Xena? I don't think so. I got 10% health. Probably wait till 15% health. That flag might burn, baby. That flag might burn. Oh, that flag is in trouble. Museum buffs are going to be like Julius. D yeah, doubled, baby. Doubled. There's the burn. New coordinates. 
we check it out? Flag is burned. One V is having a fine entrance, honestly. Th it, this is an even split here, in my estimation. Everything is looking pretty even. So this, I mean, this is looking like it's all going just fine. This is a fine Kingsland entry for all sides. I know for a moment, 1v was a little overrun on the field, but like, it's, it's all fine. This is all fine. Sixteen sixty four blocking the pass. Let's uh, see which pass is getting blocked here. Sixteen sixty four is blocking the pass. Which pass? Uh oh. Sixteen sixty four hitting the pass area. Trouble in paradise. 15% defense is the city theme for Zenith. In fact, I can pull up a screenshot here. Give me a second. Gotta unlock my iPad with my face. Um, what are we looking at? 15% infantry de uh, defense, minus 5% archer defense, minus 5% cav attack. I don't think there are 15% health themes yet, but they'll do it. It's only a matter of time, chat. Yerdo, thank you for the $5. Super greetings from 1079. Hey, cheers. Good luck. Europe says, I think he looks better in the primal cape. Hey, thank you for watching that sponsored video. I appreciate you. For those that don't know, I uh, got sponsored to cover Primal Era in a vid, and I dressed up for the part. Thought I looked pretty good. Got some bonus stats from my costume, you know. Am I going to go all out for 15% defense? I don't think so. I don't know, I would need to do some digging into the stats on the commander combos I intend to run and if health or if defense is better. We need a 1254 KVK. Bro, you have no idea. Money Moto is going to get 95% stats from the museum. I don't think he's getting that much. Yeah, I already have 10% health. Yeah. The thing is, though, I am an infantryman. So, like, whatever's meta for infantry, I need it. That's, like, not an optional thing. Like, whatever's legit meta for inf, I need that. So, if it's 15% defense, then it's 15% defense. Whatever is the best, I need to get it. I have literally the strongest possible infantry rally in the game. With the exception of armaments. Go figure. But my armaments are not terrible for my infantry rally. But there's room for improvement. I, I got better siege stats than I do inf stats, honestly. God, my, my armaments are so solidly mediocre for what I've spent. With the exception of my siege, you can't beat my wedge formation siege stats. If we have a wedge formation siege duel, I will clap cheeks, baby. Too bad that's fully irrelevant. I'm not bitter. Oh, you bought your Lucerne Scrolls before Season of Conquest. But because you migrated, it's lost? I mean, that's the sort of thing where maybe you can ask support and be like, Bro, that was unclear. I need a refund on that. 
or ask them if they can buy the freaking new one for you. And I mean, it's just like such a small but annoying thing. It's because the Lucerne Scrolls are different for Season of Conquest and for non-Season of Conquest. That's why. Why couldn't they release a second level for second gen? I think they are. I'm pretty sure second gen has a second level. Leo. But we don't know yet. I'm just guessing that it that they will. Six sixty four, seven sixteen. Uh, the answer is Nevsky Joan for damage. The problem is they take everything back if you ask for a refund. I don't know, man. I feel like support would make it right for you. You talk to support. You're hopeful the rock will release a siege garrison. I mean, Leo, they might be releasing it now. I don't think we know yet if they're releasing second levels for the, uh, you know, second and third generation of commanders. Appreciate the supers. Um, I can only speak to what I saw in the Rise of Kingdoms videos, but I'm pretty sure they release, they will be releasing higher levels of those new commanders they're adding. Burn, thank you for the 14 months. All is well. It's Kingsland, baby. What's not to love? I mean, 1647 is actually burning in a couple places here. It looks like 1188's putting in the work, although 1188's also burning. I suppose it's mutual. Yeah. All right. Everybody's burning. It's, it's the uh, cluster of the Kingsland opening, you know? Like, a lot of flags get some initial burns. They'll stabilize eventually, but people are just all over the place. It's very normal. It's interesting that NNAV is not actually entering Kingsland over the wall jump. Um, but I don't think they need to. Although, it is interesting. I mean, you've basically got 1079 with like a ton of territory here. I think they want to give this to 1647 though. Kind of let them eat up all this territory. Here comes 1307, covering up this flag, but it's already building. You aren't thinking of the super chat saying 1960 is better? Um, there's no doubt that 1960 is the stronger KVK kingdom. And 1v is the stronger Ark Kingdom. How are the new armament replacements going to work? So the way that th those are going to work is that it's all or nothing. You basically use your currency 
you do a reroll and you either keep all the stats or you keep none of the stats. It's kind of a bummer. That's what it seems to look like. 1254 is tragically not registered for KVK. Honestly, I think we're just a farm kingdom. We don't fight in KVKs anymore. 1v players left, Leo says. 1v was at 26 bill. I think 1v is trying to drop power for a huge migration with 1664. So I'm not really worried about the future of 1v. I think they're going to be fine. Win or lose in this KVK, as long as that migration goes through, like they're going to be fine. One V was higher power in the 1093 KVK. Let's look at their power. Yeah, they're only 15 bill. Man, they must have their players spread a across a couple alliances, though. Katagat says, uh, you heard it here first. 1254 is a farmer kingdom. Yeah, man. Match not found turned us into farmers. I'm, I'm like not even kidding. Dude, we got defeated by match not found. What's in those coordinates? I love that you're all you're sharing coordinates. Uh, definitely be helpful to just get a little bit of context on what's there. Twelve fifty four must be stacked with resources. Yeah, all I do is farm. Are you afraid of losing players if you don't fight and find a KVK? Absolutely, man. I'm not afraid of it. I, I'm. It's a fact that it's gonna happen. The longer we go without a fight, the more people get bored. 100% no questions asked, man. It's just, that's just facts. Chat says 1v's players migrated. Where'd they go? Ooh, okay. That's great context. Thank you, Sum. 666, 730. Wall jump flag they need to not lose, but it's burning. Ooh, they just repaired. Is this the only city they can get in here? Yikes. Two cities? I mean, they are they are thick boys. We got miner over here. We got miner. And uh I don't know, what is this dude? Is that like uh, Spartan or something? We're looking at Spartan. Looks like they got the equipment chat. They got they got the gear. They got the gear. It's an archer player. Well, then they don't have a garrison. That's Pekka. That's not a P.E.K.K.A. What are you talking about? It's the miner. You actually know Clash Royale characters? Of course I know Clash Royale characters, baby. I played my fair share of Clash Royale. Spartan Gaming says he ain't no Spartan. All right. Waz, thank you for the super. Hey, cheers from 1079. What three open field infantry marches should I use? I have Skippy, Guan, Leo, Alex, Sargon, Trajan, Mehmed, Richard, Charles, Ethel. Ooh, so many infantry. All right, I got you. Let's start with Trajan, Skippy. Hmm. This gets a little tricky. I 
Uh, uh, maybe, maybe we, I mean, you have plenty of infantry, but now that Ethel's even getting buffed, I mean, you either go Trajan Ethel, let's, let's make it simple, Trajan Ethel, if you use Trajan Ethel, then you go, Guan Sargon and Skippy Alex, Trajan Ethel, Guan Skippy, sorry, sorry, Guan Sargon and Skippy Alex. If you want to mix it up and not use the Ethel, let me find some action here. If you did Trajan Skippy, you could do Guan Leo, and I just don't like Alex Sargon's, like, really not uh, exciting. I guess it's not terrible. I just want some AoE, you know? You could do Trajan Skippy. Guan with Leo. Like Alex Sargon. I still think you probably don't bring in the map mad. Look at the 1v pass flag. Can we get Clash Royale content? Nah, I mean, I'm not that good at Clash Royale. I, I don't think I'd have that much to, to say. Twenty twenty six pushed into thirteen oh seven zone. I'm intrigued. One ninety eight seven fifty four. You'd watch me play Clash Royale for drop. Four drop. Awkward. Somebody's got to deal with that four drop. So this kingdom is caged. And they put down a drop. What a drop that is, too. GG. Yeah. All right, that's a good drop. That's a really good drop. I mean, worst case, they distract from King's Land. Best case for them is they actually land the drop. And they're back in the fight all of a sudden. It's gonna take a couple hours, but... Someone's gonna have to figure out how to deal with that. I think what you do... Chad, I think what you do... Is you finish your Craftsman for the King's Land opening. And once all your flags are down, then you go deal with that. Uh, but I think you got to get your Kingsland flags built before you go deal with that. Sacrex says, can't wait to play Call of Dragons. Yeah, chat. Call of Dragons is like in a couple weeks. I haven't posted yet for joining the Alliance, but I probably just need to post it. I was hoping to kind of tie it into a video, but I don't know that I'll be able to do that. Wouldn't it be better to go Guan Alex and Sargon Skippy? You know, maybe now with the museum buffs, I still have some Guan Alex allergies that I probably shouldn't have. I have, I have Guan Alex allergies. One V lost a few KVKs. Yeah, I mean, they win all their arcs, though. They have lost a few KVKs. They win all their arcs. This is a really good move from Yellow. Somehow, 1647 is actually getting a little, little contained here. 1188's got a really good flag line. 1188 has a really, really good flag line. It's unfortunate for 1188, but critical for 1647 that they got this flag down. It's actually kind of surprising. That's that's a really good line from 1188. Not gonna lie. 
How many flags is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're like nine flags in. And here, they're like one, two, three. Let's call it four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, I mean, somehow they have more flags down, I feel like. Chat says 1647 is Japanese. Maybe they're sleeping. Could be. Eleven eighty eight face nineteen forty five one v one. Make corner ring or wait to build a fifth meta march gear. Um if you are actually able to field good commanders in your fifth march, you should make the fifth march. Adding marches is definitely more powerful than horn rang. Yeah, I doubt that they're asleep in 1647, chat. Seems pretty unlikely to me. Is City Keeper a good garrison? No. How should I put Skippy, Guan, Alex, and Sargon? I mean... It probably is Guan Alex and then Skippy Sargon. Yeah, it's probably true, but that's the way you'd run it. What happened to OV? They won an OL and disappeared. Yeah, so for whatever reason... Um, OV lost a bunch of players to 1960 and really just never recovered. I think it had to do with the Grand Finals, if I remember correctly. Hello. Dude, you can't even see the flag from all the marches that are in here. There is a Jan Ziska garrison there. Uh, I am playing Niall KVK if we get a match found on my restart. My restart could theoretically get paired against, uh, 1945, isn't there, right? There's another big kingdom in there, 2244. Maybe we'll get paired against them. Probably not, though. I think we would have had to stack our allies to be really strong to be punching up against one of those kingdoms. I could be wrong. When, I see you in the morning. when are the new museum buffs coming out? Could be as early as tomorrow. To we'll kind of see. You have more total power than 1875. You think we'll get paired with 1875? How's 1875 looking these days? They're not Imperium, are they? I guess I could just look them up on Rockboard. Let's pull up ye old Rockboard. Will new museum buffs require Iconic Crystals? No. No Iconic Crystals required. I'm quite confident of that. Let's look at Kingdom Power. Wu buff might make her usable on the wall. Yeah, I mean... If you had her, you'd use her. 
But I don't think you'd go out of your way to use Wu, given the museum buffs that are coming. I don't think so. Yeah, the currency you need for museum upgrades is the currency you already have. I believe it was like 1,800 of the currency in the screenshots. It was like 1,800 relic coins to go to level two. So I think you unlock the exhibits with these guys over here, the exhibit coins. I don't know if you can see those. And then uh, the relic coins are how you upgrade. So if it's 1,800 per, I'm in a good spot. I could do like 10 of those. Yeah, I'll do a, a video later today, probably about all the changes in, the, in this upcoming patch. Savage one to support chess. Oh, it says sub chess. I have X Y William Nevsky Joan. Good for you. Budica E Song. Very meta. Guan Skippy. Perfect. Sargon is five 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 four. Should I go Guan with Max Alex or a five 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 two Leo? If you're adding in a fourth march. I think you go Guan, Alex, and Sargon Skippy. I think you probably do, actually. Especially with the museum buffs, that's a lot more palatable. I think you go Guan, Alex, and Sargon Skippy. The other way you could run that is Guan, Sargon, and Skippy, Alex. That would be super reasonable as well. Right? Guan, Sargon, and Skippy, Alex would be pretty reasonable. Double Helix, welcome to the Honor Guard. Let's get those hype emojis for Double Helix. Let's go. Nile KVK is boring. Man, I don't know. I really enjoyed my Nile KVK Kingsland fight. That was a great fight. Um, that's in part because we had a good Imperium Kingdom to fight though. Yeah, this is a really good cut being executed by 1188. They just got to keep building these flags, man. Yeah, they, they just keep building. They, they take as much value as they can. They shouldn't be getting this, but they are. That, that it, they shouldn't be able to do this. They should just spam flags literally in every direction. They're probably worried about running out, but like you, they should be back building here, in my opinion. They should just spam all the flags. Um, I don't think we can say any one side is winning yet. This is a pretty even Kingsland opening, except that 1188 has actually just claimed a ton of land that they should not have been able to grab. They're just holding so 1664 can build there. All right, that's cool. So 1664 builds through here. And then they both push against uh, 1647. Yeah, I mean, if they just hold this land for a little bit and these flags come through, you could set up some nice doubles. But they have a nice chunk of land over here, baby. Zenith skin is 15% infantry defense. Yes, indeed. 1079. Now smashes against one AVG, Poggers. Building flag with a double C primary. GG. Yeah, that flag is down. Captain didn't make it in there. Or didn't get captain oh you can see there's the captain dude what happened did the captain jump out by accident they're full health maybe they just didn't get there on time there wasn't a captain in there though i'll tell you that much they might have just built it before the captain got there gg 
Or I guess built it before the captain got there? Swarmed it before the captain got there. Cheers to you in Sri Lanka. I mean, look. You build flags in Kingsland, man. At the start of Kingsland, you build all the flags. You need to, you need to just claim that land. You need the TP spots. You need it all, man. Oh, baby. All right, so 1875. Where do they sit in the Imperium ranks? By the way, currently 1307 is number one in the Imperium ranks. 1647 is number three. 1945. Yeah, we're not going to match them. In my restart, they're number five, man. They're, they're looking pretty fat. 1875? Bro, somebody said they're the same power as my restart. Oh, maybe if you look at the total power of my restart plus our allies, maybe. Because 1875 is number eight in the Imperium list. Okay. Kingdom 2000 is number 10. That's surprising. Um, 1302, that's Song. They're 14th. Kingdom 2 is 17th, really? Wow. Uh, 1021 is 20th. 1185 is 19th. 1079 is in this KVK. They're 24. And 1188 is 25. And 2100 is 26. That's very interesting. And 2244 is 27. Wow. And 1846 is down at 28. 34 and 79 did a good job blocking SN flags. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So 2293 is my restart, and we are 39th by Imperium Power. I mean, chat. We're, we're 2293. We're thin, man. We're thin. We're not Imperium. Oh, the 2293 coalition is more power than 1875. Dude, I love to fight them. 2293 and 2244 have the biggest coalitions. Yo, I, I hope we fight a fat Imperium. I hope my restart fights one of those fat Imperiums. Power isn't everything in the matchmaking, says Miz. Thank you again, Leo, for the supers. I hope we get a big Imperium. That's way more fun if we do. I am not currently playing Primitive Era. No. I did enjoy playing it for the sponsored video I put together. I can only handle so many city building war games at a time, chat. City building war games are time consuming, bro. Henry Talent Tree. Um, if you're talking about feel, you'd use the same talents I have in my Amonitor video, my Amani vid. Nice flag swarm here. I assume that's a YSS Hera. I was not looking closely. There's the burn. One V's putting work on the field over here, man. Hi, bro. Nichols in the house with 1634. Thank you for the super. Good to see you, Nichols. It's been a crazy morning for me. I don't know about you all. 
2293 doesn't want to be Imperium. No, we don't want to be Imperium. We just want to fight Imperiums. Right? Tell me I'm wrong. We, we don't want to be Imperium. We just want to fight him. It's way more fun to fight an Imperium. For us, anyways. I think that's fun. Keep me honest. I don't think we want to fight a top Imperium. I think that would be pretty egotistical. We we I think we hunt the small Imperiums, honestly. I think I think the top Imperiums would absolutely shred us. I don't wanna be I don't I don't wanna give the wrong picture here. But um you know, the more moderately sized Imperiums, that's that's our sweet spot, baby. That's what we want to fight. No one wants to be Imperium. It kind of sucks to be Imperium, I'll be honest. But your fights are really good, if you can get a match found. Yeah, top Imperiums would be a slaughter fest. Yeah. Chadsky, man! What's up, dude? Thank you for the five gifted. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Chadsky. What KVK did we register? We're in Nile KVK on my uh, restart account. We could get matched against Shinji, which would be pretty funny. What are the chances you think we get matched against Shinji? Which uh, which which banner kingdom is he with? Does anybody know? Who's the big KD that, that they're allied with? Miz gets the gifted. Boom. Brian. Hey, thank you for the super, dude. Chisco, love the content. Can I get feedback on my five March plan? Just join season of Conquest. Juan, Leo, Skippy, Alex, Nevsky, Jones, Saladin, William, Boudica, E Song. So, Saladin, William will be something you do if you already have the Saladin. And I think Guan, Leo, Skippy, Alex is fine. But instead of Leo going for Sargon, would I think be a better play these days? So if you already had the Leo, all right, cool. If you wanted to rush the Leo and go 5-5-1-1, you could. But I think you're just better off going for Sargon. So I like your plan. With the exception of that Leo. Even though I'm a Leo fan... Dude, if we fight 1875 and Shinji, that'd be crazy. You'd want to watch that KVK, right? If that matchmaking worked out that way, like, you'd want to watch that, right? Chat says uh, 2293 versus 1228. 1228 is number four, man. If we fight 1228, we are aft. I don't think I'm zeroing Shinshi anytime soon, Chad. Certainly not on my restart. Chadski says, bruh, please God, give us a 1875 and 2293. Can you imagine if we were fighting 1875 and Shinshi's kingdom? Like, you'd want to watch that for sure. Jatsky says, I'll, I will. Oh, God. Uh, just cool. No, I'm not going to zero, zero Shinji anytime soon. Jatsky, don't worry. I'll do it. <laughs> what? Oh, God. He, dude, he knows what he's doing. You're not going to find him off territory like that. We need to lower the power if we want to be matched with 1875. Um... I don't think we should do anything now. I think it's way too late now to try to do something. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Oh, God. This Tommy Museum buff is legit. Yeah, it looks legit. Ooh, oh, that's a barb fort. I was like, ooh, I see a rally. A barb fort rally. GG. All right, chat. All the territory's eaten up. People are settled in. Here's your King's Land map. 
with the exception of light blue over here. That's 1664. Your Kingsland map is settled. And due to this really good line by 1188, the 1307 team actually has edge in the Kingsland territory battle, in my opinion. I think they've got edge. Not a ton of edge, but they do have it. I would say it's like a... Maybe like a 55-45 split of Kingsland, which is honestly within reason, right? Like, that's pretty normal. What do you think about the new Zenith skin? I mean, I think it's good. I think I stick with 10% health, personally. But if you didn't have a good infantry skin, this would be good. Appreciate the super nickels. And I did see the oh, water breakout attempt. Hold on. I don't know if I saw the water breakout. So, 970 and 713. Ah. So they build this fort. Then they can burn this flag. Yeah, that's going to be tough. But speak of the devil, man. CPLW, isn't this who we fought last KVK? This is totally who we fought last KVK in 2293, right? They gave us the really good Imperium KVK fight in Kingsland, didn't they? Yes, they are, says Miz, confirmed. Yeah, so this breakout attempt is super real. I mean, if anybody can get it done, they're the kind of kingdom that can. All right, that's cool, man. That's super cool. I didn't realize CPLW was in this KVK. Dude, this is a freaking big KVK, man. This is huge. Here's the other breakout attempt. Here? No. Where was it? Here. <clears throat> Miz says, heard a rumor they aren't doing as strong anymore. Had a bunch of people migrate out. Yeah, losing KVKs is tough. It, it's tough. I mean, if, if there isn't, like, a big reason for people to stay in your kingdom, then they leave. Pl there's plenty of kingdoms that are recruiting. You know what I mean? There's always more kingdoms that want to recruit. I am surprised neither team is really kind of building into this, this gap here. I know it sucks. This territory really sucks. But, like, I would build this territory in a heartbeat. It's Kingsland, man. You got to take all the territory. I guess they're still building their flags. You got to take it all. Literally all of it. Ooh, rally incoming. Where's this going? Is that rallying a barb fort? Gosh, bless. All right. All right, chat. Have my hopes up. Have my hopes up. It's the old BF rally. Chat says losing to 2293 is extra tough, though. Yeah, I mean... Like, it... It is, but it shouldn't be. Like, I get that we're... Uh, by power, weaker, but, like... Dude, that restart kingdom is pretty sick. For being a not Imperium, our restart kingdom is pretty damn sick. Plus, we have Chadsky and Peace now. Yo, it's over. It's GG's. 
You're just, you're just bringing 1254 <laughs> to the restart kingdom, apparently. At least we get fights in uh, 2293. God, gosh, blast. We just farm in 1254. It's tragic. You heard there's a 433 million power whale migrating to 1960. I think it seems reasonable. I'm sure they got lots of people going there. Yeah, 2293 is mainly X1723. Yeah. It's my original restart kingdom. We went to a bunch of places. The 2293 seems to be the uh, final home here. What does the term Chinese server mean? So, they're actually separate servers for Rise of Kingdoms in China. I don't know if everybody knew that. Yeah, we punch above our weight. Yeah, for sure. What happened to 1v? Their power is looking pretty light. I don't know what's going on. People were spec uh, speculating that there was a migration. 1v is working this angle over here really well. If they, get, if they get these burns and keep them up, it's going to be a problem. Pawn is in 2100. I didn't know you were in 2100. We brought the best of HVK and SIP. Um, yeah, so... The 2293 team, I mean, we migrated back to KVK Season 2. Ritz says that 1723 Fighting Corps was super nice. Makes sense that they're having success. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the other piece of the puzzle is just very intelligently staying out of Imperium. I mean, 2293 could have easily ballooned into Imperium. Yeah, like, very easily. But we didn't. And they've been ultra selective about who they take in the 2293. 2293 is about to run into 1875 and Nile. I love that, man. I want a real kingdom to fight. That'd be great. Leo, 1v started KVK with 120 people. Plus 40 farms to fill. Yikes. Really? Here's the thing. I mean, if there's any kingdom that can say, you know, for every one of our fighters, we're worth two or three of yours. Like, 1v would be one of those kingdoms. That's the thing. I mean, if there's any kingdom that can claim, you know, every one of their players is worth two to three from another place, like, 1v is one of those kingdoms that can, that can do that with a straight face. Chat, where's the action? We need some rally watch. 2293 has a good migration team. Are you on the migration team? All our players have 100 mil power plus at the start of KVK. Sheesh. Yeah, I mean, you click on any 1v player. And uh, well, that's not a 1v player. It's, it's like either a farm or it's over 100 mil, right? Woo! Burberry lover. 201 mil. Mountain Man, what's up, dude? 
8% all defense or 5% skill damage. I mean, one is a really aggressive skin and one is a more tanky skin. I personally prefer the 8% defense for all troop types. But the skill damage city theme is pretty good. Who's winning? Hard to say. I think that the 1307 team got a slightly better opening. C4 trappers as we got destroyed by 1875 and KVK. All right, cool. Let's get a good fight, baby. Five seventy six forty eight flag rally soon. Chat says, "Ooh, here comes the rally." Yes, flag rally imminent. Apparently, ooh, it's a building flag. Let's go, baby. Fifteen forty three, slaughtery says, "I can't believe this got zeroed." What kingdom is this in? Daniel says 1v is great, but they're 2v1 Imperium against 1307 and are struggling to hold on. Oh, this is in 1543. We need Mountain Man in 2293, Miz says. You hear that, Mountain Man? <laughs> Mountain Man says, bro, I would humble 1v. This guy. Oh my god. 1307, according to Rockboard, is currently the biggest Imperium by Imperium power. Technically, right now, the biggest Imperium by uncapped power is actually 1254, which should not be too surprising. That should not be too surprising. Everybody else is in KVK, and 1254 never gets a fight, apparently. I'm not better. So we're just kind of ballooning up, despite our best efforts to not do that. Isn't that like top 300? That's top 300. Yeah, if you start looking at our top 500, then we get really thick. Justin Baia himself is one and a half billion power. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, we got some power, baby. 1254 will fight again next year. Maybe. Looks like this flag's gonna build. I see that it's in combat. I can't tell with what though. Swarmers? Is Tommy worth it after the museum buff? She's good. Yeah, I mean, she's good. Let me re remind myself of what her buff is. Give me a second here. Pull this up on my iPad. Okay, Tommy buff is what? 15% archer health and 10% march speed. I mean, that's kind of exactly what you want to see. That's actually exactly what you want to see. Yeah, you could use Tommy. Yeah. Tommy's looking good. I think you'd run like Nebu Tommy, man. That sounds good. Tommy already? Uh, I don't know about that. Let's not be hasty. Even Esong's getting a little extra buff, right? What's he going to turn into? 20% 20, uh, 20 defense? 5% skill damage? Something like that?
Gilga Tommy. Yeah, I think I prefer the Nebu, but yeah. Julius, 20% all damage and speed. In field, is he usable? Yeah, you can use Julius in the field. Uh-oh. Oh, flag belt. All right, flag belt and then double C was in there. All right, all right, that's fine. I mean, that sucks, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure 1254 has to register next pop. Like, I don't think we can skip any, any more KVKs. Dude, these flags are repairing. LV is really doing work up in this corner, man. Dude, 1188 is really looking good in this opening. They are really looking good. Top form, baby. You want to see Chiskel use Edward again? Mm, no. Man, my Edward got so dunked on. There's got to be a rally on this flag any moment, right? What's the Edward of Woodstock buff? 10% defense, 150 skill damage factor. I don't know if that's enough. I, I don't know that that's enough, man. Saladin's going to be great, though. It's going to be so nice for a lot of people. Rip Saladin. No, no, no. What are you talking about? Saladin's 10% attack, 10% march speed. That's great. That's freaking great. <clears throat> What do you think about the Charlemagne buff? Have I seen that? I feel like I've seen it. I'm sure it's not enough. I mean, there's no way they're going to drop such a fat buff on a Charlemagne. I'd like if they did. I'd like to see Charlemagne be way more relevant. I just don't think they're going to do it. But should I spin the Charlemagne wheel tomorrow, chat? Should I spin Charlemagne tomorrow? I'm going to do it. I'm going to spin Charlemagne tomorrow. Ooh, good burning over here by uh, 647. But I think these are the flags that they're intentionally letting burn, right? Because they're just letting blue come in through here. Don't we have an egg event on Tuesday? No egg event on Tuesday. It's wheel. We got wheel on Tuesday. We always have wheel on Barb Day for MGE's chat. Who's winning this KVK? Oh, it's way too early to say. I think the 1307 crew had a good, good entry. Going to spin him instead of the ranged commanders? Uh, I guess I could spin a ranged commander. What do you think is more value? The Charlemagne or the ranged commander? Maybe I should spin the ranged commander. I don't know. Both are feeling pretty... Irrelevant to my main account. I'm not gonna lie. They both feel pretty damn irrelevant to the main account. I mean, what am I doing with a range commander? Oh, my man? I just, I just don't think there's anything for me to do. Ranged has more potential to be meta. I think that's probably true. I really don't want to make an eighth set of legendary equipment for ranged. I, I don't want to do that. 
Yo, what's with this Charles Martel, though? That's the real question. 1v Charles Martel Garrison? 1v does nothing by accident. What am I looking at? Yep, it's Charles Heraclius. They going for the anti-swarm, baby. The Charles Hera anti-swarm. You know, Charles Martel, if he gets a buff, he's going to look a lot better. What would his buff be? I feel like I've seen speculation. Um... Let's see here. Charles Martel. If he goes up from 25 attack and 5 health, I've seen a guess of 35 attack and 10 health. I mean, it's another 15% of stats. Charles Heraclius has good anti-swarm. That's definitely true. I don't know why you'd use Charles over Xeno, though. I get that there's sh shield synergy. It's just not that good. Would you whale your mid-spender account? Or would you start a new one? I'm not starting any new Rise of Kingdoms accounts. No shot. I, w I would definitely not start a new Rise of Kingdoms account. I have plenty of them. And I mean, like... You know, I watched a lot of Drago's content. And, and he had a lot of accounts. And they just were a lot to maintain. They were a ton to maintain and didn't make for that much more content. So I, I think two accounts is two... It's, pl it's plenty, man. Yeah, Call of Dragons. Yeah, it's a good thing I haven't spent as much recently in Rise of Kingdoms, because all that money is just going straight into Call of Dragons. And it's not even because I'm like, ooh, I'm avoiding spending or something. It, it's because there just hasn't been that much to spend my gems on. So, I, you know, I, I always spend money to have gems to play events. That's my, the way I spend in this game. And I had too many gems, so I had to chill, chill the spending. Message. Hilatong79. They're the garrison captain. All right. Hello, info button. Do something, please. Well, I would message them, but I actually can't get chat to pop up for, the, for this. So that's super awkward. All right. Uh, I would chat, but I can't. Oh, there we go. Holy delay. Would love to see the Charles Heraclius Garrison report. Good luck in KVK. Live stream says hi. All right. Let's see what we got. Want to check the 1079 side? Yeah, where's the action? Holy. it's a lot going on over here. He's a Korean content creator. No kidding. What do I think about buying an account? Pretty sure it's both against terms of service, but also very commonly done. I think it's super risky. I think there's a very high chance that you get racked. Uh, man, 1v is going to lose this territory. They just don't have the bodies to run the whole line. Um, maybe they're just letting 1079 come through here, though. I don't know.
Leo, thank you for the super. Share an account for fan experience with you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't do it. I try to avoid, anyways, doing things that are against Toss. Um, because some number of my videos are sponsored by the Makers of Rise of Kingdom, so I really don't want to, like, do stuff that really jeopardizes that. I definitely had offers to pilot accounts in the 1960-1365 KBK, but, like, I just don't think it's a good plan for me. Justin, thank you for the 20 gifted. Dang! Justin coming in hot with a very generous 20 gifted. Let's get those hype emojis in the chat. For the 20 gifted from Justin. Sheesh. Look at that. So many gifts. I never really recognized some names in there that got gifted. Congratulations. Where are these guys going? What's going on here? Building flag? I wonder if this thing's gonna get burned. El Cid says that 1254 has the best pilots. I mean, hypothetically, if we did have lots of pilots, it would largely be because we can't seem to get a KVK pop. Morningstar Rock, thank you for this uh, 11 months. Wow. Looking forward to fighting 2293. I can't wait till we get our matchmaking. Yeah, I'm in 2293. We got Chadsky and Peace in 2293, too. Cheers. Greetings from 1307. This building flag looks pretty secure now. Is Esong a good first investment? Absolutely. Esong is definitely a better investment than Richard. 100%. 100%. You missed Cortex and Ruz? Well, Ruz still plays. Esong is generally better. Says Tahoe Mike. I agree. 647. 690. Let's go check it out, chat. Echo Gaming. Yo! What's up, dude? Yo, let's get some hype in the chat for Echo Gaming. Here comes the rally, by the way. For those that don't know, Echo Gaming's one of the OGs in Lilith's original content creator program for Rise of Kingdoms. He and I did some collaborations that are among the most watched Rise of Kingdoms videos. You should definitely go check them out. My boy Echo in the chat. Let's go. The Rise of Civilizations days. That's right. Yeah, if you can't find the videos, it's because you're searching for Rise of Kingdoms. This is back when it was Rise of Civilizations, baby. We need a new collab, says Nichols. Hera YSS Rally. This looks like a Yadviga. I don't know who the secondary is. I should zoom in and pay attention. It's just a, a Jad YSS here. First in Attila Nevsky. You miss the old days. No equipment, no crystal tack. Times were simpler. Thoughts on the Alex base buffs? Whew. 
Alex is gonna be good, man. He was good before. Now he's gonna be real good. Mountain Man Ruzz Chiskool Cortex collab. The simple and cheaper days. The pre-Crystal Tech days. Back before the $1,500 season pass. GG. Jan YSS Garrison. At six. We got a lot going on here, chat. 662, 731. They were simpler times, chats. They really were. The pre armament days. Ooh, hello. Here comes the rally. This flag is in trouble. Oh, it's two rallies. Not a double, but two rallies, two flags. Yeah, back in the pre-equipment days, it was so much more simple. You didn't have to swap all this crap around, you know? You just played. Hello, rallies? Why are the rallies not doing their thing? Chat, do you see this? Like, the field marches are fighting, and the rallies are doing what? Holy lag. Oh my god, it's a Boudica! Chatsky, thank you for the five gifted! Yo, let's get those hype emojis for War Nighty Chad. With the five gifted. Yo, that Boudica is gonna get shredded, man. Yep. There's Zeno outside. Like, hello! I'm supposed to be captain. Nope. That's a burn. Now we just look over here. Ooh, live stream arriving with a snack. Let's go. Snack is nice. This is a nice, healthy snack. We got some pretzels. Some little cracker things. Cucumber and carrots. Healthy snack here, chat. Let's go. Chadsky, thank you for the super chat. With the car references here. Mathmat is looking a lot better now. Um... How good's Meth Mad Gap? What's the rumor? He's already got 20% health, 5% skill damage. If he gets more health and skill damage, I mean, it'd be pretty good. You're probably looking at 30% health, 10% skill damage on Meth Mad. He's looking real good. He's looking real good. Chatsky, thank you for the super. I appreciate it. Sargon with Tata Gibbon Ziad is going to beat Guan Skippy one versus one. XY Mehmed going to go crazy. Yeah, man. Honestly, like. My farm could move to six marches, I suppose, but I don't know which I would want to do. I think I'll just stick to five. Keep making the gear really good. But there's a lot of really good commanders now. I think that players just getting the Season of Conquest are going to have a lot of really good options. And I think this is the value. This is the real value. The thing the museum's supposed to do is make it so that the early game investments are relevant. So that you don't feel like you can't put any sculptures in anything. Like right now, you play the early game and it was like, I can't put sculptures in any commander except like Esong and Alex. Because there was just going to be better in Season of Conquest. But now... You can make some confident investments. It's good. Definitely XY William is better than XY Map Map. No, William's very good. 
How the heck are they holding this flag, man? I got some carrot sticks I'm snacking on here, chap. Don't mind me, it's lunchtime for me. XY Honda, the best XY March. XY Honda's good. I, I would say, say XY Williams better. Uh-oh. Nevsky captain. That can't be good. That's the one problem with uh, Yanziska Heraklius is you got to have two of them. Or at least you got to have a second cavalry commander to run in there as a backup garrison. Nevsky primary? That can't be good. Chat says carrot ASMR. Yeah. Probably going to stay away from the ASMR on my channel. Guan Honda's good. I use Guan Honda. Great combo, man. We are probably hitting a weird time in Rise of Kingdoms, though. Like, with, with Tommy getting buffed? I, I mean, it's possible I bench the Honda now. With Tommy getting buffed the way she is, and Esong, I might bench Honda. Mm. Nah, I'm not going to bench him. I'll probably do... Sargon with Honda. The rally died, chat says. I think Tata Gibbon Ziad hits the bench for me. That's probably the play. What's the Zeno doing? Just cool. I have Boudica, Yoga, Nebu, Ram, Esong. Who do I bring to the field? Um, probably Boudica, Esong, and Neb Ram, or Neb Gilga is the way I would run that. Probably the Gilga instead of the Ramses. I would go Neb Gilga and Boudica Esong. That's how I would do it. The reason I like the Gilga Mesh is specifically for the skill damage taken debuff. Scorpio D Rush! Thank you for the five gifted. 57 new gifted members this stream. Sheesh! It's a good day to tune into a Chisco Gaming live stream. Let's go. Here comes the rally, but this is already burned. That's kind of funny. We're up to 60 new members now, actually, in this one stream. Let's go. We need a video about artifacts. Uh, what do you want to know? I could ask people for some footage of artifacts, make a video. Woo, what's going on over here? They should probably rally this flag. They got the field for it, right? Did they say when the new relics would come into the game? Probably with the new patch. Possibly a week or two after the patch, but I think it's coming right away.
Bird, welcome to the Smash Squad. Um, did they say when new relics would come into the game? I think they're going to be with the patch, man. They'll probably just come with the patch. Look at all those Trajans. When you see Trajans on the field, you should think that's a kingdom that knows what they're doing. Trajan's good, man. When you see all those Trajans, you should be like, damn, that's a kingdom that knows what's up. How do you gift a membership? I think you need to be on PC. I don't think you can do it from a mobile device, which makes me kind of sad. But I think that has to do with uh, monetization shenanigans with iOS and Android. Chat says up that way. Something getting rallied or burned up over here. Ooh, rally. Here we go. Dude, where is this rally even going? Holy cow. Send it, baby. Woo, all the way back over here. Let's go. Send it, baby. You can do it if you're on Android. Oh, cool. So Android or on PC. The Hunter Inscription is extremely good. Isn't that like 10% skill damage if you're hit one target? Yeah, don't mind that rally chat. It's just got a slight teleportation glitch. No big deal. I watched a really funny YouTube short that was like, if video game glitches were in real life, it was pretty funny. I was like, yeah, no, that's like, that's it. You nailed it. Ivar says Nevsky Boudica is the best single march with artifacts. I think it'd be Nevsky Skippy, right? That's what I would put my money on. Yeah, I would be streaming the new KVK now. If only I'd gotten into it. GG. Should I finish my Alex or start saving for Skippy? About to finish KVK 3. You should start saving. You should start saving. Is Martel Hera good? Um, I don't know. As soon as the swarm finishes, we should look at the reports and see if we got sent one. Garrison is holding on barely. I'm trying to 2k counterattacks. I was trying to scout the counterattack damage. 2k counters is pretty rough. Yeah, they're, they're keeping that Garrison full, chap. Or at least half full. 3k counters now. Frankie Joe says a one fee flag just burned. All right, all right. No, no, no. 
first commanders you max in Season of Conquest should be Nevsky and Skippy Prime and probably Boudica Prime. It's like those three. Followed by probably Joan Prime. The thing is that you need a home for Alex, so that's why getting a Skippy is really good. You need a home for some cavalry, maybe. Nevsky's really good. You could do Nevsky Mathmat if you wanted. Boudica, you need a home for that E song. Boudica E song's really good. I feel like it is really nice that given that they added in a bunch of non-field commanders in this last cycle, that they're making it so that you get more field options and they're changing around the field meta by adding in the museum buffs. Like that timing is fully not a coincidence, chat. Garrison's still standing. For the uh, report there once the dust settles. What's better, Guan Alex or Skippy Alex? Definitely the Skippy. I mean, that question is like, what's better, Guan or Skippy? And the answer is Skippy. Can you migrate to a kingdom if they're in KVK? No. They have to both be in the off... Well, the kingdom you're migrating to has to be in the off-season. If you're in KVK, it doesn't matter. But the kingdom you're migrating to can't be in KVK. I think there is a... Very small chance that Rise of Kingdoms eventually gets a graphics update to be closer to Call of Dragons. I hope they do that, but I think we're a long time away from that. Yeah, we might have the Martell report pretty soon to look at. I haven't checked yet because we got some action, but as soon as this ends, we'll go look for it. Ken says, please, no graphics update. It's already too laggy. Yeah, I don't know that the graphics are the issue. I think it's just the quantity of things. Rally is now getting swarmed. Tommy Sacks on the rally. Rally, I think, is down. Yeah, Rally's down. GG. Good defense. Good defense. Unfortunately, no Charles Hera reports, I think. Maybe. What do we have here? Hello? Uh, YSS Hera. 
Cool, cool, cool. Swarm. I'd love to see a rally against at Charles Hera. Chat says servers are the issue. Okay, let's keep looking around here, chat. Can you estimate how many points 800,000 gems will get you in Zenith by training troops? I would try to spend all those gems on speed ups. You obviously can't between now and Zenith, but as many as you can, you should just gem speed ups in like VIP shop. Um, the way that you'd figure out how many points you could get is by training T5 troops and dragging it to the point where it's exactly one day on the slider and look at what the gem cost is. That's how you'd estimate it. I don't think it's a huge number. I'm a little worried about this 1v territory. That's my biggest concern right now for the way Kingsland is shaping. If 1v can't hold, and I mean, hey, holding against 1307 is a tall ask. But if they can't hold, it's going to be an issue. I don't think I'm going to train for Zenith. I think my 10% health theme is fine. Flag kind of getting swarmed. I think it's an accident, though. Oh, boy. Rally incoming soon, I think. Who do you think will win? It seems like the 1307 side might be favored to win at this point. Chat says 54% on 1307. I think off the strength of the 1188 opener and also the way that things are shaping up in the 1307 1v fight so far, it looks like 1307 has some edge here. Here comes the rally. Can't wait till I get to rally stuff again. Yeah, I did see the new uh, museum buffs look really good. I'm going to be making a video about that and a bunch of other stuff a little bit later today, but... Had to stream this Kingsland opening, man. You know? That rally is in trouble. It's getting swarmed. Needs support. New museum buffs should be in game tomorrow. But don't worry, I'll make a vid later today covering 
some of that stuff, along with some other things that won't be in tomorrow's update, but um, will show up, like, you know, probably next week. Just entering Season of Conquest? How would you invest in Nevsky and Joan? You know, I like to make complete marches, but you could get Joan to like 5115. She's really good. So Joan is a commander you could start just to have and would be really good. Yeah, I don't have the Charles report. Is Zenith going live tomorrow? No. Zenith will be probably like a week and a half away to two weeks away. The event series will be probably a week away. Maybe this weekend. And Zenith will start halfway through the event series. Check your DMs in game. The report is coming. Okay, cool. Maybe it's here? And this is a city hit. Would you replace William with Joan 5115? If you already have William, I would not go for Joan. If you only have one Cav March and you, you would have to take out William, I would assume you have some other project that would probably be a better play. Dude, look at this swarm commit over here. The swarm commit's gonna get it done. Swarm commit's gonna get it done. Yeah, there it is. There's the burn. Uh-oh. Go on, Captain. Uh-oh. That hurts. How many troops are in there, man? Echo Gaming, peace, brother. Great to have you drop by, as always. If you haven't checked out Echo Gaming, be sure to do so. He makes videos about mobile games and which ones are worth playing, so definitely check it out. Yeah, 1188's doing really good. I mean, of all the kingdoms, I'm, I'm honestly most impressed by what they're doing. But that's also in part because I didn't have a big expectation for what they would do. Just because I'm not as familiar with, with what their kingdom can do, but they're freaking getting it done. Wait for perfect armament legendary roll before buying the KVK inscription. Pretty much, man. I mean, you buy the KVK inscription every single time, as fast as you can, you get them. But you apply them only to, like, a perfect armament. Alright, chat, where's the action? Where's it at? Up here? King's over here. It's gotta be an important spot if the king's there. Top Friday. 1079 king, chilling over here. Perfect armament? It's a myth. Yeah. I don't have any perfect armaments, that's for sure. I think Nevsky Joan is your best cav rally right now. Amadi, thank you for the three months. Is Trajan Honda good? No, separate them. 
I really dislike Trajan and Honda together. Both of them are amplifiers. Neither of them really benefits from being amplified. I would split those commanders. Jan Hera report is now in your DMs. Ooh. Jan Hera. I think the rally got swarmed. Two for one trade is pretty good though. And then the AoE is just going to be value. And then he swarmers. It's just going to be big value. It's looks like it was a pretty short rally. Here's the swarmers now. Ooh, getting kind of dunked on that swarm. But I mean, I would kind of expect XY William to do pretty good when swarming. I have perfect rolls in the wrong formations. Yeah, Gabriel, tell me about it. Yeah, I mean, Yen Ziska getting a little bit worked here in this swarm. Zizga on the wrong end of this. Congratulations, you crit your Ring of Doom. That's amazing. At this point, the garrison burns. Yeah. One V has got to hold on to this land. It's going to be tough to get it back. Let's go get a look around chat at the... Ooh, hold up. Hold on. Flag. I wanted to get a look at the spots where they were trying to break out, which we'll go do in a minute here. Nevsky Mehmed 5551 or Nevsky William 5111. I think your Mehmed's going to be better there. I think your, your Mehmed, especially after the double museum buff, is probably better. Yeah, we'll look at the breakouts as soon as this swarm ends. While this swarm happens, I'm going to hit the restroom real quick. I'm going to be right back, chat. It's going to be like 30 seconds. Be right back. Matt Bilbo, thank you for the five gifted. I should go to the bathroom more often. That's awesome. Hey. <laughs> Cheers. Much appreciated. Let's get some hype emojis for Matt Bilbo. With the five gifted. Let's go. Chat says it was 40 seconds. That's pretty fast. Literally, the bathroom is right next to where I stream. Let's go look at these breakouts, chat. CPLW breakout. How's that going? Oh, it's happening. 
they they take out this flag. Ah, but OP 79's got a fort build. That's not going to happen fast enough? Maybe this granary will stop it. Hard to say. This granary might stop the flag build when combined with the fort. I don't think I can actually do this. Oh, we're full on flags anyways. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, of course I wash my hands. Stop it. Check Thunder Camp. Let's look at the other side. Oh, uh, well, that got cleared out. GG. There was so much here, and now there is nothing. I didn't do 20 seconds of hand watching. That's true. I suppose I should be doing 20, a full 20 seconds. GG. All right, well, that is a marker we can just delete. Best option for Skippy other than Guan and Alex? Sargon's pretty damn good. <laughs> oh, God. Boudica Edward? Boudica Edward is no good. <clears throat> Do not use Boudica Edward of Woodstock. But do consider using Nevsky Mahmed. That's a great march. Look south of PK26 Fort in zone 26. Uh, here? You could just stop it. Don't use that word. True. All right, let's get back to Kingsland. Thoughts on El Cid with the 25% attack and 300 damage factor buff? I mean, I think he's going to be pretty decent, um, but I don't think he becomes meta. I just think you'll have a lot of good options. Let me text the live stream fairy real quick. Let's see here. Could I get tea? It's really cold in the basement. I don't know why. I feel like it's colder than usual. Six fifty seven twenty. You stream in your basement? Yeah, I have a stream room in my basement. I'm the ghost in the basement. Yeah, I'll take it. Mehmed 5511 is way better than Sun Tzu. Not even close. With the new relic and buff to the relic? Forget about it. Mehmed's the way to go. Let me tell you, I've said this many times, and I think other people caught on to this guidance I've been sharing, but the death of Epic Commanders was the introduction of the museum system. How is Honda an amplifier? He's a terrible primary commander. He's only meant to be used as a secondary commander in terms of the meta, 
And if you look at his fourth skill, it boosts skill damage. And he gives you troop cap, which is hallmark signs of an amplifier commander. So Honda's a good secondary, and in that regard, he amplifies. He is not a good primary. Your enemy will just walk away from your Honda primary, and you will be sad forever. You'll have to take my word for it, if you don't believe me. Cortex made special equipment. He moved all in on Honda primary and was very disappointed. Would not recommend Honda primary. And that was Honda Tommy, by the way. He used Honda Tommy. I mean, he really went for it. If, if, if Honda was going to be good as a primary, Honda Tommy was going to be the jam. And it was not. Going into KVK3, should I open all my keys? You can open them. If you want, you can hoard for the release of a new commander to gold keys, but when might that happen? I think our next new gold key commander will either be Margaret, but probably not, or is going to be a new civilization probably in like June or July. That's my guess. Uh, 1254 is not waiting for 1960 and 365 and 1093. They are way too far away from queuing again for KVK for that to be viable. Maybe the, the pop after. Like, maybe after our next KVK in 1254, then perhaps we'll be able to align with 1960. I have CJ Sargon. CJ Good Secondary. Yeah, so Guan, Skip, Sargon, CJ, that's great. Yeah, do it. You could also go Guan, Sargon, Skippy, CJ. I think that would be fine as well. That might honestly be stronger, mm, but it's debatable. So you've got Guan definitely being a primary, by the way. Nevsky Garrison, that's going to get wrecked. And either Skippy or Sargon is your other primary. That's that's what you do. We'll be better after the update. XY Honda or XY Methmad. I th I still think your expertise Honda is better. Double museum buff. WTF are you talking about? So for those of you who are subscribed to the channel, and by the way, if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing so and throwing a like on the stream. But for those who are subscribed to the channel, you know that in the last patch note, in that mail, it said they're adding levels to the museum buffs. Flavia Skippy, good for AC Kingdom KVK. Uh, for Garrison? Sure. For Field? I suppose it works. But I wouldn't recommend it for Field. Uh, that Garrison's toast. Yeah, there it is. Bro, about gear. Best one goes on Guan Sargon or Skippy Alex. I'd say probably put it on the Guan... This flag is burning. This flag is being built. I think this chunk of territory is going to get taken over. It's definitely interesting, chat. If 1v loses their land over here, they always have the NNAV entryway if it's really necessary. Their allies would have to clear the space, but it could be done. Meanwhile, these flags aren't even touching, which is kind of interesting. They don't even want to fight over those flags yet. 
They're like, yeah, we got enough touch points. Let's call it a day. Let's call it there. Ooh, I mean, this is what I'm worried about is all these 1v burning flags, man. It, it's a lot of land to lose at the start of King's Land. Sully's Gaming, welcome to the Honor Guard. Yo, let's get those hype emojis for Sully's Gaming. Let's go. 66 new members of this live stream. Let's freaking go, baby. Woo, it's a lot of new members. I have Esong, Richard, Charles, Guam, Leo, Alex, Harold, Skippy, Sargon. Cool. Were you looking for pairings? Which is the best four marches? Um. Well, you got to do something with your Esong. And unfortunately, you don't have anybody to pair with Esong, so... You really need a Boudicca pretty badly. That would be one of your marches, is Boudicca E song. You just need the Boudicca. Guan and Leo is pretty good. Honestly, you, I guess you could do Charles, E song, Guan, Leo, Alex, Harold, or Harold, Alex, really, and then Skippy and Sargon together. Alternatively, if you wanted to break up that Alex Herald, and like, I wouldn't blame you. What could you do? You could do Charles with Skippy. Juan and Leo still go together. Nah, I don't know, it's kind of awkward. Zeno or Yadviga for city garrisons? I feel like Zeno's stronger overall. The healing kind of sucks, brings back troops that are ultimately going to get wrecked, but whatever. Livestream Fairy says, what kind of tea would you like? Um, probably the usual. Mad Bilbo says, lemon and ginger. I do really like candied ginger. I'm a big fan. I could eat so much candied ginger in one sitting. It's alarming. Do I like chai tea lattes? Oh yeah, of course. What's not to like, man? Chai tea latte is like a... Dessert drink, right? I guess it depends on where you get it. You get one at Starbucks, it's a sugar bomb. What's candy ginger? Bro. Okay. Candy ginger. It's really spicy. But not chili spicy. And it's really sweet. Because, you know, it's been candied. It's basically ginger that's been soaked in sugar water. So good. Um, 5524CJ or Alex? Probably your expertise to Alex with a double museum buff is better. Who do you think will win this KVK? I would lean 1307 team. Um, but it's too early to say definitively who's got this. Way too early. The reason I'm leaning 1307 team is that the 1307 kingdom itself is pushing into 1v. And the 1188 team is um, done a really good job carving off territory. So that all this land in blue belongs to the 1307 grouping. And it shouldn't. I mean, all this blue stuff at the very right of the zig should actually be WSA and well I mean whatever 1647's kingdom and maybe 1079 but it but they got extra land 
Our nude says our King's Land fight yesterday was over in five hours. GG. That's pretty fast. Good for our king, though, because she's fighting in 1307. Oh, there you go. There you go. There's the W. I have enough gold heads to max two commanders. Either Gilga or Honda. I would say do neither of those commanders. Why Gilga and Honda? Those are pretty low on my list. Between Gilga and Honda, if you're a rally lead, you should probably do Gilga. If you rally archers against Xenos. If you're not a rally lead, then I would say Honda. But Honda feels like it is a much less necessary investment as a commander, given how much better these museum buffs are now. Should I go for the infantry defense skin? Are you a rally or garrison captain infantry? If so, and you don't have a 10% health theme, then yes. Honda just lost a lot of value. I mean, I don't think the 10% or 20% of stats you're going to get on the higher level of Mehmed is better than Honda. But I do think that the zero sculpture investment to have a Mehmed compared to whatever you got to put in a Honda makes Mehmed really compelling, if that makes sense. I feel like Honda drops from my commander investment tier list right now. Honestly. Like, I would... I would probably remove Honda. And I would... Honestly, Nebu is, like, in the danger zone, and XY is in the danger zone. I think those are squarely bad investments right now. Even though they're good, like, this second, they're gonna be immediately replaced when new cavalry and new archers come into the game. Thirty percent health and ten percent skill damage is nutty. Why X Y? Because he's number four on the cav list, and so it's probably like six months from now before we get new cavalry. But in six months, when we get new cavalry, X Y is like the first cav on the chopping block. X Y is on the chopping block, baby. So if you had like a Saladin already, or you could invest in XY, I'd say this is a terrible time to invest in XY. You just use your Saladin with a double museum buff, you know? You were hoping Wu would get a better buff? Yeah, I mean, I don't think that this update makes any non-meta commanders suddenly meta, which would have been cool, but I don't think so anyways. Oh. Oh. Hold up. Possible T visit here and the kiddo. Oh. It's the live stream fairy with three things wondering was right at uh, that one. All right. Hey, kiddo. Whoa. Oh, green screen almost fell over. How you doing? You want to say hi to everybody? No? Okay. You want to run around? Yeah. If we're getting new calves after archers, since we just had leadership. Um, I think we're getting new archers because we're due for archers, right? Like we got infantry recently. I guess we're due for... Aren't we overdue for archers? Keep me honest, chat. My kiddo wants me to run in circles with her. It's archers then cavalry. That's not normally the order though. It's not normally arch uh, archers then cavalry. That's why this is weird. But like archers are the last thing that need to get updated from the current generation. I think. 
Then it's cavalry. Then infantry. Then archers again? I don't know. It's going to get weird. Dude, all oh, this burning land is super awkward. And, and it's not even backbuilt, by the way. I don't know if they have the flags to backbuild this. It doesn't look like they want to, though. Actually, it looks like they just want to let 1079 take this land. So it looks like they're actually strategically giving this territory to 1079, I assume. Ian says, stop streaming. You're making my KVK lag so bad. No, no, no. I'm a lag reducer. Yo, I'm, I'm straight up a lag reducer over here. Instead of 906 people trying to watch your KVK in game, they're watching it here. I mean, I, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm your best friend when it comes to lag in your KVK. Let me tell you. Lag sucks. So lag does suck. Here comes a rally. Where's it going? Oh, to the flag? Maybe? Ooh, yeah. Okay, hitting from below the flag? I don't know why. Flavius YSS, I don't think is very good. Hey, kiddo! Welcome back. Can I pick you up? You want an uppie? No. She says with grumbles. Oh, instead of going underneath by all the wires, can you come around this way? Okay. Chad, if we lose video, you'll know what happened. Just crawling underneath my desk. Oh, okay. We made it. Hey, kiddo. Welcome back. But you want to do that again, huh? Hey, kiddo. You ready? Oh. Hey, you want an appa? Okay. You gonna say hi to everybody? No. No? How you feeling this morning? Were you a little sick? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have chocolate on your face? No, it looks like chocolate on your face. Chocolate ice cream for lunch. That sounds yummy. Whoa! She's basically running a lap right now around my desk. Chess school mini. True. She's just running laps. Whoop! Careful, kiddo. Hey, kiddo. She is growing up so fast. And for those of you that tuned into my stream, I want to say like a week ago, I did announce like a week or two ago that we're expecting another kiddo. She needs a hug from daddy now. <laughs> Dude, her, her jujitsu to dodge mommy is very impressive. Okay. One hug, one big hug. No little, you want a little, you want me to take the bow out of your hair? Yes. Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Aw. Oh. oh, all right. We're on the move. Yeah, so we're expecting another kiddo, which is really exciting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she's, she's now hiding behind my legs. She's hiding from mommy. This is kind of funny. It's not funny for mommy, though. Because mommy is super pregnant, so she can't go chasing our, <laughs> chasing our little kiddo. Oh, the one-handed carry? <laughs> she got her. <laughs> one-handed carry, yikes. All right. How does she feel about being a big sis? She has no clue what's about to happen. I mean, we, we've tried to, like, explain, but she really doesn't understand.
Because I think the reality is that it means mommy is going to spend a lot less time with her because she's going to have to be taking care of the new kiddo. We need a poll for the new kiddo's name. Oh, man. So, um, one thing I've learned is that you're never really supposed to do, like, guessing games for a kid's name because inevitably someone will react to a name and be like, oh, that name's horrible. But then that turns out to be the name that you're actually planning to name your kid, and it's just super awkward. Mama strength is real. Dude, I was pretty contented to just have the kid run around until she had her fill. What's the calculated birthday? Uh, like a week and a half from now? Pretty soon. It's actually really soon. My wife thinks it'll be sooner. Uh, we'll see. It is a girl. Girl number two. Call your new kid Moctezuma? Nah, probably not. Solomar is a good girl's name. Asking for a friend. GG. Trust the wife. El Cid says, My wife thought number two would be early too, but we had to induce. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going. Induction is possible. Caller Chiskul Prime. Constance is a strong name. Zeno is stronger. Cleo is the name. Boudica is the name. Oh, God. Call her Mark's woman. Marky for short. Theodora. Sundok. Call her Joan. No, no, don't rock name the poor kid. <laughs> don't worry, we have no intentions of rock naming our child. We have no intentions of rock naming this kiddo. Call her Lilith? GG. Five oh nine, five seventy nine. Missed marking opportunity, dude. Leo, <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Leo is the name to go for. Uh, this flag's about to go, chat. Let's see what happens here. This could be interesting in this part of the map with the flag burning. She'll make money if you call her Lilith. Call her Matilda Joan Cheskul and then you're done. All welcome, Maddie. GG. Zungan, thank you for the super chat. What would your solution to armaments be for them not being RNG? Would a refine-like process where everything gets the same amount of stats and gradual increase be better? I would say yes. I would say that a better system instead of randomness would be the ability to work incrementally toward whatever it is you want. You could pick the stats you want on your armament and then you incrementally make them better just like literally every other mechanic in this game where you can work on it incrementally instead of going to the casino yeah no i mean there are many ways to do armaments that would be i think more fun color margaret make her middle name osiris 
Name her after your farm. <laughs> Mini chess school. The kids are too young to be playing my farm account. But... One day... This KVK is pretty one-sided, not gonna last even 24 hours. You think so? My wife does not play Rise of Kingdoms. Chat says the flag is not burning anymore. Oh, well, if it's not burning, then there's one last opportunity to defend it. Let's see if I can get it to load on the screen. Dude, half my screen, it can't even load in here. Wow, it's repairing, chat. One last chance, baby. Here comes the rally. Oh, sort of. It's moonwalking a little bit. What would you do if your kids logged in and sent all the resources to random people? Yeah, no, that'd be pretty bad. This is why my kid does not get access to my phone. They might send my resources somewhere. GG. Couple more years and the kid can really play rock. You're not wrong. She's a pretty smart little kiddo. Subsequently gets banned for RSS selling. Imagine if they deleted your troops. Your eldest daughter will be a great pilot one day. GG. Can you imagine like, all right, kiddo, you got to get your uh, X hours of piloting in for your allowance this week. <laughs> My wife got a chuckle out of that. Imagine if your kid deleted your account. Well, good news is that pushing the delete button doesn't do anything. So I'm pretty sure it makes you talk to support. Breaking down all the legendary equipment? Bro! That'd be really bad. You're grounded. Really grounded. My kid were to delete some legendary equipment. I mean... I feel like we'd make them figure out what the dollar value is and then make them earn it back. But they'd have to earn it back. That way they can learn that actions have consequences. I mean, you know, assuming the kid is old enough. If they're too young to understand, that's a different story. My three-year-old would not understand. So grounded forever, basically, says Pickle. Good for a YouTube short. If she dismantled your gear, then you'd have something incrementally to work towards. That's true. That That is true. Not exactly what I'd envisioned. But that would be true. I do want to buy the uh, Master's Tool bundle and crank through that. But that's probably going to be... It's probably going to be tomorrow with a Wheel of Fortune stream. I'll do the master's tool bundle. Imagine she started swarming Bunny City. Yeah, it'd be especially impressive because I don't even know where Bunny City is. So she'd have to find a city and then start swarming it, which would be a pretty impressive feat. Who's winning this King's Land? I think the 1307 side has edge. I 
I have Skippy Prime, Math Mad, 5511, Nevsky and Joan Prime, Budokov, 5551, and E Song. XY pairs with who? XY pairs with who? Well, I guess you're looking to deploy your Saladin at that point. I mean, XY with William is meta, if that's what you're asking. Leo, I would give her $2 to send me your resources. GG. Thank you for the super chat, Leo. If 1v was in their prime, they would win this KVK. Too bad no one knows what happened. I mean, I think they're preparing for a big migration in. I'm on the 1307 side, except I'm way back in zone 4, still trying to break out with CPLW. You just got zeroed! Oh no, Rolf. Did you record it? Did you record it? Oh, in a different KVK, you have a Xeno Flag Swarm. That's interesting. I'm gonna stick to this KVK. One V has a migration in sixteen sixty four is rumored to be going to one V. If I'm not mistaken, anyways, is one V going to them? Are they going to give up their multi Osiris champion banner? Is that the game plan? Is this rally going to a barb fort, man? Oh yeah, is Baba fighting in Kingsland today too? Is that a thing? What happened to Mimi's kingdom? I don't know. I mean, if Mimi's not going anywhere, then I don't think everyone would leave. You just reached 65 million power in Rise of Kingdoms, completely free to play, then you woke up. GG. Um, but before you woke up, hopefully you went to a restaurant that has one of those exclusive power requirements. So that you could enjoy one of those meals, you know? Those meals just hit different. This Barb Fort Rally is getting swarmed, but it has a... Very intelligently done, honestly. Nevsky with Attila is a great combo for this situation. Swarming that Barb Fort Rally probably sucked. Dude, it is kind of funny. Compared to the viewership of the 1960 KVK. What is this fort build? Are they, are they trying to get a little drop over here? Compared to the 1960 KVK. People are kind of like, yeah, I mean, it's a KVK. We'll watch it. But... Man, anytime, day or night in that 1960 KVK, you turn on the stream, you get it. Absolutely insane amount of viewership. Best formation for Jan Ziska with Nevsky? Probably Arch for Anti Swarm. I think Wedge would also be fine. Your biggest threat to a Nevsky secondary is that it gets swarmed. So it kind of all depends on where you're putting that garrison. If you put it in a pass, then the skill damage would be better. 
This flag, though. Woo! Shinj says, I think some people could be burned out on watching whale KVKs. Could be. It's pretty hard to compare to that KVK. That KVK was pretty monumental. It'll be a while before we get another one like that, I suspect. Looks like that flag is holding on. I can't tell what's hitting it, though. Oh, it left combat. GG. Did it leave combat? Hello? Next big KVK with 1254 and... I think we're getting a bunch of Imperiums to beat up on us. I could be wrong. I hope that's true. I don't think Drago is still playing in 1307. I mean, if he was streaming, I would raid him for sure. How's the 2489 Kingsland going? Chat, do you want to go see uh, Baba's Kingdom in Kingsland? I'm pretty sure Baba's in Kingsland now too, right? Zenith is probably two weeks. All right, polls in the chat. Should we go check out Baba's KVK? Yes or no? If you are enjoying the live stream, do me a huge favor. Throw a like on here. Consider subscribing to the channel. Chat says it looks pretty even in 2489. Really? Is Charles Martel Herald a good combo? It is not meta, but it's fine. It's a fine combo. King's Lamb, baby. Let's go. All right. Which kingdom is Baba's kingdom? There's 412 in red. 89 VC, that's got to be it. Also in red. The Victorious Cats, that's the one. That's the one. There's a bunch of names I recognize in here. Oh, I pushed space bar. Gosh, bless. Didn't mean to push space bar. Let's go back to that. Oh, hold up. Oh, they gotta fix this while I'm here. Gotta fix that. Hello? Not training troops? That's a crime.
I don't normally buy up all this stuff, but because I'm worried about getting that quest done where you gotta buy 20 things, it's definitely worth perhaps going over on what you need to get... Look at that, 500 AP. Woo! Normally you gotta pay money for that, man. While I'm here... And we're switching which KVK we're going to look at. Hold on. Two seconds, we get out these gatherers. You can have troops training while you migrate. I remember one of the strategies used to be... Popping an expansion. And then you... Train up a bunch of troops to burn through your resources... So you use a, a fat reserve to get that done. Alright, there we go. Alright, chat, who knows where Baba is? Who's, who's my Baba watch? Who's got that? Five sixty one, six twenty one. Oh, there he is. Let's go. Woo! Baba swarming with Arvix. G G. Dude, it's the 556 crew. Tell me what you can do when they catch us. When they pull out big guns and they blast us. The final end to our mad love. Mad love. I like how Baba random ported onto their territory and swarmed from there. He's at a billion kill point, or a, a billion power, rather. Thirty six billion KP is pretty good. Is it him playing or his son? I don't know. Could be him. I mean, it's King's Land, you know. So are these guys? Who's allied? This looks like they're fighting. So it's top and left versus bottom and right, I would assume. Looks like Baba's ally allies had a good entrance here. Abyss, what's up? This flag's almost burned. It's hanging on by a thread, chat. Four twelve? Yeah, they're in this KVK, they're still alive. Pretty sure that they are migrating to 1960, though, right? Who has the highest kill points? Um, isn't it like Arvix and one other person are up there at like 44 billion? This flag has been going for 15 minutes. It's at Mata Z's. Okay. GG. 
You know why this flag defense is going for so long, chat? It's because it's an Attila Nevsky rally. You could fill against that for a while. New archers are probably in two months. Yeah, two and a half months, maybe. Clubman's also up there as well. That does not surprise me. His son might be playing both accounts. New new archers are gonna be whack. Yeah, man. Like I'm debating maybe I use Tommy, but I'm sure when the new archers drop, I'll be like, just kidding, time for new archers, baby. It should be a new archer garrison. True. I mean, you probably end up pairing with Heraclius, right? I guess it depends on what they do, but... A Hera Garrison pairing is very likely, I would think. You hope Artemisia stays relevant in the field? Yeah, I wouldn't count on it. If they release two good archers, especially, I think you could keep your Artemisia. Um, I, I think you could. My bigger fear is for Nebu, honestly. Nebu is looking like he's probably getting replaced. I, I would assume Nebu gets replaced before Artemisia does. Boudicca art will still probably be good. Yeah, true. I mean, it depends. If they release a commander that needs the shrug off, just like how Artemisia does, then it'll be Boudicca plus that new commander, but it seems unlikely they would do that. It's going to need to have some anti-cav skills to have a chance. Yeah, calves are pretty tough these days. Artemisia is cheap and good and still relevant. Also in the daily special, true. Chad, I think we stay here for a while. I mean, we got action to watch. Apparently this this has been going on for a really long time at this spot. Who's better, Boudicca Art or Boudicca Esong? Depends on who you ask, man. I prefer Boudicca Artemisia. There's a camp of people that prefer Boudicca Esong. What is this garrison, by the way? Xeno plus who? Flavius. Cool. Xeno Flav's a good garrison. Best five, six, seven marches with Skippy, Guan, Nevsky, Boudica, Nebu, Ram, Trajan, Attila, Takeda. And all the preseason of Conquest Commanders? Sheesh. I mean... You probably just use Trage and Athol. That's easy. And Boudicca Esong. There's two marches. Nevsky with Mehmed. And Saladin with William. Now you're at four marches. Skippy and Guan you could put together. There's five. Nebu with Elsa. You could do Ramses or Elsid. There's six. And then I guess you could use Attila Takeda because you have it. Actually, you probably do Neb Tommy. I take that back. Neb Neb Tommy is probably your play. You could do an Alex March. Alex is really good. I use Henry Nebu as my third March. Henry Nebu is a good March. 
I gotta move the, the screen ever so slightly or the game is gonna stop sending me updates. Nebu Tommy, health and speed. What's not to like about that? Defense, health, march speed. GG. Do you think after these archers, it'll be two new leadership commanders to return to the cycle? I don't think so. I think the cycle's totally whack now, man. Whoa, rally canceled. GG. Do you think you'll ever do Henry? I'd kind of like to do Henry. I kind of have a choice. I did Heraclius. So if I'm going to do Henry, I only have 945 sculptures. Only. I don't know. Like, do I want to be down to like 400 sculptures? Not really. Not for, not for Henry, I don't. I'd rather be able to snap off a new invest than uh, be so low on sculptures. Only 945, chat says. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of low. Thing is, I got to be able to double expertise, whatever's good. You know? Two expertise commanders is a lot of sculptures. Woo, here comes uh, 89. 89 does seem to have some pretty good field control here. You're not very pleased with Sargon? I've been pretty happy with Sargon. No, this is my main. It's not my farm. We're on the main, baby. Just spend more easy peasy. Uh. Uh. I don't know. My spending is currently on armaments, and I think that's correct. Ooh, rally incoming. Let's go. King skill on the rally. Oh, yeah, where I did the siege commanders. That's, yes, my farm did the siege. Yeah. Both arranged commanders. Expertise on my farm. GG. I don't plan to expertise those on my main account, though. I look low on resources. Hey, if you want to give me some resources, I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look a gift resource in the mouth. Inscriptions cost one KVK coin in the shop. That's correct. And I think you can only buy one of them. How much do you have to spend per month? I thought it was like 50 grand in total. Not monthly, but total. To get VIP support. I do see your coordinates in the chat. Looks like this rally ended. So we can go check them out. Inscriptions or KVK gear if you don't have the weapon and helmet crit using coins. You got to get the inscription every time. You should never leave KVK without getting your inscription. Have to get the inscription every time. Pardon the yawn. Ooh, swarm.
your VIP and you don't think you've spent that? Well, maybe it's less. Chat says rep. How dare you, Yon? Too much KVK spectating? Not enough KVK fighting for the Cheese Meister over here. Diego, I'm using XY Nevsky. Joan Mehmed, Skippy Alex, Boudica Esong, Artemisia Tommy, what's next? Well. You have Boudica, Joan, Skippy, and Nevsky. Sargon would be pretty good. Or Guan would be pretty good. But I think your weakest march is the Artemisia Tommy. This garrison's in huge trouble. Less than 1k counters. They're barely holding on. Appreciate the super chat, Diego. XY Nevsky's good. Jonah Mehmet is fine. I think William would be a really good upgrade to be able to go XY, Joan, and... Or sorry. Nevsky with Joan and XY with William. That would be really good. Dude... They did hold on to this garrison, but it's still only 2k counters. Check the PMs for reports. All right, I'll have to check it out. Robert, welcome to the stream. By the way, for those just here tuning in, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here, consider subscribing to the channel. We're now spectating Baba's KVK, which is kind of cool. Watching some flag swarms, baby. You thought Baba quit playing? No, he just kicked it back a bit and his son is driving the account mostly. I do feel like Diego, like you've only got one infantry march. I, I really think you got to get a second infantry march going. If you wanted another march. I do think your Artemisia Tommy is probably a weak. You're the weakest of your marches. But I also think getting a second inf march would be really good. Your son would run your free-to-play account with purple gear. GG. Being a garrison captain looks hard as hell nowadays. It ain't easy. Being a garrison captain means you got to switch all your armaments around and your equipment. It's a real pain. 8k counters? Oh, that's against the rally. That garrison stabilized, chat. Dude, let's go. Let's freaking go. You spin Trajan or ranged? Ugh. If you don't want to run ranged, just spin Trajan. You already have 5521. Five, yeah, you probably spin Trajan. Nevsky Williams, a fantastic march, yes. I think Nevsky Joan is better, but Nevsky William is still fantastic. You know what you could do? 
I think I figured it out. What Diego should do... If they have Minamoto... They could do Joan Minamoto... Skippy with Mehmed and and Guan with Alex. And that's how you get another infantry march in there. Kyrie, thank you for the super. Check 2Z, Monkey Clown, Insane KVK2 Fighter. Thank you for the super. I appreciate it. What's their power out of curiosity? The flag is holding, chat. The commit to this flag is freaking huge. Hey, it's Baba TC Adasan on the swarm. Let's go. Dude, the commit to this defense is huge. Burberry lover just got to 20 billion kill points on the 1v account. GG. This is what you're here for, right, chats? Brutal swarms. Counter damage is looking strong. Ah, it's down to 2k. Oh, back up to 4k. GG. A little bit of stabilization here. That's too zoomed. That's better, maybe. How is that flag not dead yet? I don't know how Baba is always in this situation of fighting a kingdom where he's going to crazy swarm flags constantly and somehow they're able to hold it. Oh, it could be popping. That's a lot of sad faces that just went out of there. Baba TC Adelson in the swarm. How big are the cities next to this flag? 104 is pretty big. 87 is not big. Kyrie, thank you for the super. 97 million power, 20 million dead troops. For KVK2, that's pretty good. 3.2 billion kill points. Sheesh. Why are they switching the captain to the flag? So the reason they're doing that is that they don't want the captain to pop. Because they are getting swarmed, the captain's march can get knocked out of the flag and then you lose the flag 100% guaranteed at that point. So you basically swap the captain every time the current captain gets to like 10,000. The only reason you're noticing it is because they're switching between a Xeno captain and a Yanziska captain. Normally what you try to do is maintain the exact same captain the entire time. So if it's Yanziska with Hera, you would try to maintain Yanziska with Hera. But they probably don't have two Yanziskas with Hera, so they're just stuffing a Xeno in there to do whatever they can. Garrison swap here is OP, brother. And the Jan Hera providing the counter and then Xeno YSS. This is textbook. Well done. Yeah. It's a good hold. The only issue is... Oh, now it's up to 4K counters. 5K counters. Now they've stabilized this garrison. Sheesh. It looks like they switch almost every rage cycle, though. Uh, the garrison was really low before, so it is believable. It happens really fast when you're low. Like, now they're down to 1k counters. This garrison could burn. 
I wonder if one of these guys nearby is hard filling. I wonder if, I mean, I don't see that happening, but it could be. This will be a good report for the swarmers or for the garrison? I would assume it's a good report for the swarmers. They got it pretty low a lot. Have we seen a lot of Jan Hera garrisons to declare it's the best? I mean, that's my understanding of the meta right now, is your best garrisons, Jan Hera. Can you make an update video testing health, defense, and which is better? So, um, it hasn't changed. The guidance is exactly the same, I think. I think health is still better, followed by defense. Diego, I, th I was thinking about Honda. XY Honda, William is better. Definitely go for William. Honda's more versatile, but William is amazing, man. He's like Trajan Mini. It's like Trajan Jr. Um, but he is specific to a troop type, which makes him easy to understand. He's great. Go for William. Between William and Honda, William's a good invest. Honda's questionable. If health is so much better, why did the developers neglect it so much on infantry gear? You know, I have no clue why the developers made the gear the way they did. But I will say, it seems like it's very easy to get defense stats from equipment on your infantry, and then health stats from your commanders for infantry. Health isn't better, it's more rare. Ah, but because it's more rare, it is better. So there's diminishing returns on your stats in Rise of Kingdoms. And the less of a stat you have, the more valuable it is. Worded differently, the more of a stat you have, the less valuable it is. Per additional point of that stat. And the reason that you're always behind on health is that there's no alliance technology for health. Whereas there is alliance technology for attack and defense. Cav equipment is full of health. That's very true. Arnut, thank you for the super. Swarming Hera isn't something you do for fun. <laughs> yeah, it probably hurts. If you're looking for impact, do you just sack attack? If you're an Ark of Osiris, the other advantage of attack is that you burn things faster. Attack ends fights faster, even if your trade is potentially worse. So there are situations where you do want to end the trade, or I guess end the fight faster, but your trade will be worse if you use attack in KVK. Aaron, what's up, dude? We need more unique buffs and debuffs on the next Archer Commanders. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we got some pretty cool stuff. We got skill damage taken debuffs. We got defense, health, and attack debuffs. We got skill damage boost buffs. We got damage taken debuffs. We got a lot of buffs and debuffs. This is crazy, man. I mean, you gotta hand it to the Swarmers. Their ability to sustain the Swarm is impressive. You gotta hand it to the Garrison. Their ability to handle this Swarm is impressive. Zenith of Power is 15% infantry defense. It's good looking. Running Guan, Skippy, Boudicca, Isung, Nevsky, William, Alex, Harold. Uh, well, if you're going to build another Cav March, Joan Prime is really good. When is it 1254 KVK? I swear. Who knows? Hopefully next pop we get a match. If we don't, I don't know what to do. I don't currently plan to go for Zenith. 
Now, the weird thing about defense and health uh, chat is that more stats is better, but you get disproportionate benefits if defense and health are raised equally, which is kind of interesting. Move your main to 2293? Nah. I already got one account there. I'm good. I'm good with one. Make a vid on how to reinforce like this. Ooh, Hera primary poggers. <laughs> Gabriel. Says, man. Oh, no. I didn't jiggle the mouse enough. Oh, the captain's down? Is the captain down? No, it's back. Oh, my God. GG. Gabriel says, man, I feel for you having to answer the same questions over and over. Yeah. What commander after Esong is good? Alex, if you're in the early game. If you are enjoying the stream, do me a favor, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. This is a really good defense. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they're really holding this garrison. This is how Kingsland fighting is supposed to go, chat. Baba TC on a Turk up on the swarm. Let's go. I want to get Saladin. Uh, I do not know when your card king is, unfortunately. I did not ever get the Martel Harrow report. We could check again in a bit. For now, we got to gawk at this garrison. This is crazy. Chat says better defense than 1093. This is a better defense than most kingdoms will pull. Please do mind the... If it's just spam. Lol. When you're yellow, you should pull off the swarm. That's definitely true. At that point, you don't have enough troops to really get it done. And you, you do have your skill cycles working in your favor because you've already got rage accumulated, but... Like, once you're yellow, it's it's time to be pulling off a swarm, probably. Yeah, Card King is in the early game. That's a lot of dead troops. It sure is, chat. Arvix in the swarm. Captain's belly! Captain Skippy? Pretty sure that's the burn. Sheesh! Follow-up swarm. It burned, chat. It burned. Can someone explain what VIP support is? Yeah, so if you spend enough in game, you'll get a message that's like, hey, contact us on Facebook to talk to Charles Martel level of support. And that's the VIP support. Now, look, I've just used the in-game support and found them to be extremely attentive. But I've also spent over $100,000 in the game, so... If they're not attentive to me on every platform I message them on, they're doing it wrong quite frankly. I mean, when you have a customer that drops that kind of money on pixels, you'd better attend to them. And But but in, to their credit, they've always been very attentive in that support chat for me. They will even send you memes to make you laugh. Yes, after your equipment crafting or armament pulls make you cry, they'll send you memes to make you laugh. That's true. This is actually true, chat. They will send you memes. All right, let's go back to the 1307 KVK. See what's going on there. Let's go look at the CPLW breakout.
Spend money, get memes. True. I think this area must be blocked because nobody's here. Like, the only reason no one would be here is if this is going to be a GG. So this granary probably blocks the wall hop here. That's my guess. Ten K for VIP memes any day. GG. This flag did finally burn. No new flag in its uh, place yet. Okay. Sixteen forty seven swinging around over here. They are burning. Chat, we've been streaming for almost four hours. If you've been enjoying the stream, do me a favor, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing to the channel. What I think I need to do is get out a video with all the information about this update. So we're gonna go raid Redline, maybe? Hello. Why don't I see his stream as an available stream to raid? Hold up, we'll fix that. We're gonna go raid Redline in a minute here and make a ton of noise. But first, YouTube. Let me raid him. There we go. Alright, we're set to raid Redline. Set the stun, chat. I've watched too much Star Trek in my days. If you enjoyed the stream, do me a huge favor, throw a like on here, subscribe to the channel. Arnoot, thank you for the super chat. There are different levels of VIP support. I got it through What's Up. There you go. There you go. Thank you for the super chat. Let's go raid Redline. Chat wants the Martell report. One last check for the Martell report. I do not have it. Oh. Well, but for those of you who stuck around and wanted the Baba Swarm, this might be... Is this the Baba Swarm? Is this the Baba Swarm? Looks crazy. Looks like it's not the Baba Swarm. Maybe this is the other swarm we were watching. I mean, Xenoflav is a great garrison chat. It hurts to swarm that. If you're not actually a T5 player with the tech for it, that'll hurt, man. GG. All right. What else we got? We got this flag. I think we saw that one. Here comes a square formation rally. What the? We probably do not get a Sargon wheel today. Yeah, Baba's in 2489. Alright, chat, we're gonna go raid Redline. It's happening. Make a bunch of noise when you get there, okay? And tune into my channel later today. I'm gonna have a video with a bunch of information about this patch that lands tomorrow. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom. Let's go make some noise in that Redline stream. I'll see you there in just a second. Take care, everybody.